It would help. So if you turn on your mic pack. That's all right. No one's here yet, so. Uh, yeah, except the people who are on YouTube. Oh, uh, <laughs> dang it. Well, that's all right. Oh, well. Hello, everybody. We're back. <laughs> They're going to have to vamp because I'm dealing with something else over the, here. We are back. The fearsome threesome. And mm. we are trying some <laughs> excellent whiskey mouse. again, which you, I'm sure you had no doubt. <laughs> what? You drink, we drink whiskey here? Uh, you know, on occasion. We do, we do drink whiskey. We need the bar cam is what this uh, stream needs. <laughs> To like just have a dedicated camera for the bar over just there. Just reposition our cam here over there so you can swivel it back and forth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see how you guys are. Yeah. I'm sure everybody would like it. to see what we're drinking. <laughs> mm, I don't have the keyboard, so we're just gonna mouse it up. Just put it yourself in the search real quick. The second one. Oh, that yeah, one. There yep. We go. Already downloaded. All right, out of boy. See if I can remember where Mike's at. He's second from the bottom, if I recall. He is. Ooh, oh, look, look at, at me. that. Look at that memory. Ooh, Ooh you want right. to play 71? We, d we do not. That's <laughs> closely brutal. A brutal. Ooh. 68 yeah. or 63? I like 6,400, knowing how hard that course is. Normal, normal. Okay, we got an 11. Force, Force realistic. realistic. 11. Triple. Yeah, triple, yep. All right, no wind. That, ah, go call. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's Let's Minnesota in the trees. The wind rarely blows in much. central Minnesota, at least not in any As long as you're in the trees. What's that? Unless you get above them. <laughs> yeah, occasionally, <laughs> but it's rarely noticeable. All right, well, let's uh, let's go play Minnesota National. I shot a 96 here in real life ahead of a, a tournament, so it really set my uh, confidence on fire. Uh, I don't think I've ever played this course. You said you did at the time, but then again, you always tell me you play courses. I'm always like, wow, do you uh, what's your favorite hole or whatever, whatever. And you're always like, uh, and you can never remember anything about it. I can it remember, that. no. My memory sucks. I know, I know. <laughs> like, know. For, all I know you, you it, for all I know, you shot Jimmy Hoffa, and I just never figured this out yet. <laughs> I mean, he's oh, old, but thankfully, he's uh, not quite that old. Yeah. But in any event. But yeah. he's dead, on the other hand, apparently. Yeah. I, I don't remember a lot of this golf course, if I'm being honest, but I did very vividly when I saw the flyover remember the very first hole. Yeah. I remember that very vividly. Yeah. Um, although in here, I don't think they added that. They had that. Yep, they added it. So they have that Minnesota National Golf Course out in the middle of that lake. Mm -hmm. That's there in real life. Yep. I could probably go find pictures. I probably took a couple. So on this first hole, I blasted this ball so far over here, trying to lay up around this corner. And I remember I had to punch out. I did make par here on this first hole. This first hole's a, a, a jaunt. Yeah, so. 472, and we're on the, sh oh, it's a par five. So. But it's a par five. As okay. we are drinking, we are doing a glass out evolution. Woohoo! All right, let's give this one a try. Cheers. Bucks. This is gonna be very different than the first one. Very different than the first one. Yeah. That is still good though. Woo! Very. Okay, all right. So I don't think I hit where do you Oh, girl, oh, oh sorry. My God. I, I do not think I actually hit driver on this first hole. I think Bill did. I don't think I did. I think I hit a three wood. Well, yeah, because Bill's I, driver doesn't go I, as far as your three wood. I think so. I hit a three wood and I pull hooked the damn thing is what happened. The because this is the cheat code, right? Is could you have enough to put it over this thing? Can you carry all that? Now, obviously, I could also dirty cheat here, and I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to dirty cheat and play the 18. Getting dirty. I would never do this in real life, and I didn't when I was there. <laughs> oh, but I'm not in real life. I'm playing virtually, and I really want to start with an eagle. Uh oh, so. we got we got uh, we got uh, sales people in the chat. Jeez, yeah, you're gonna get banned, dude. Sorry, dude. Prepare to be banned. Fuck wad. <laughs> All right, good luck, everybody. I'm sure you're plenty nice. Good luck. I am not. I'm Side sure you fire. beat your children. Oh, water. That's in the water. Yeah, that's a tough. Oh, hit the bat. You got a hundred extra yards out of that. 
Look where your ball is at. I got a one. I got 146 yards <laughs> for this par five. You fucker. Where did you put us on that tease, by the way? Uh, we're on the 6,400 okay. yard tee. Just so I know. Just so I know. And the 11s, right? Yeah, yeah they're 11s. They're okay. 11s. All right, cool. <laughs> Holy shit. That, I figured, was going to be in the water. That was such a bad swing. <laughs> so bad. Uh. <laughs> so bad. Hey, Bizu. Hey. Bizu out in the house. We got our mascot. <laughs> if I'd have known that, I could have brought uh, Piper to hang out. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I normally don't have him on Friday. Yeah. Because Friday's a special occasion. Next Friday will also be a similarly special occasion, so. Oh, he'll be around next Friday? Yep, because I'm in the same boat next Friday. Okay. That I'm in this Friday. I hate these tools. Why can I not moderate this better? I wish to moderate better. Bye, jerk face. Nervy challenges the long end of the law. Will it blend? The answer is yes, it will. Are you Same serious? He's gonna get off even better than I did, I think. <laughs> Fuck you, cheating motherfuckers. <laughs> well, in his case, I was the only one who actually laid out to cheat. I was planning on playing the 18th fairway. Uh, Nervy didn't cheat, he just decided to go over the water. He's like, if that horse shit shot can play. <laughs> right. If Brandon, <laughs> I mean, pulled it like a donkey face and got it all the way there, then hey, baby, I'm sure I did a better job than that. <laughs> the answer is yes. Also, yes. There you go, Bill. Yeah. yeah you're going to like that. Yep. Oh! Oh, my God. Muscles! You muscly some bitch! I almost got there. <laughs> Where in the fuck does this thing think I should be aiming? Not the green. Yeah, it's, you can see it straight out there. There's just oh, that one little tree in the fairway that's Well, kinda... ain't that a trip. Hosing you up. I was missing way right. Hmm. So... Okay, well. The time has come for registration for the MCC member guests. Jesus, already? My God. There's, there's gonna be eight inches of snow on the ground in two days. We're registering for the member guest? I guess. <laughs> that was quick. Mike, you Fuck, wanna... why don't we sign up the Murph already while we're at it? Yeah, let's do it. Mike, you wanna be my guest to the Murph? <laughs> do, you, do you wanna go to a tournament where you're gonna play the same course you play once a month, except you're gonna spend $450 for the privilege of playing it, and you're gonna get oh. two burger baskets out of it? Woohoo! That's the reason why I don't, again, I like the Murph just fine. I'm glad they do it. Because um, I'm sure it's a blast, but for me, it's like, I don't know. I prefer to play golf tournaments at places I don't, like, play ever, all the time. Yeah. Like, that's why I used to love playing at the, uh, at the KX. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. You're... I wasn't joking. No. No, I wasn't joking. 75. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was not joking. <laughs> yes, I don't have much steep pocketbook for that. <laughs> I'm gonna need a better golfer to play with me if uh, I'm gonna go spend that kind of money. <laughs> Was that for the member guests or the Murph you looked up? The Murph. Yeah. The Murph yeah, the is the, is the most expensive one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, again, I've heard it's a blast um, because I think it's a derby. So, like, I'm sure it's an absolute riot to play in. But again, I just, I don't really get very excited about playing in golf tournaments that, at golf courses I play all the time. I'd rather go, like, mem member guest is another one. Like, I've never played our member guest once. On the other hand, though, like, I love being guests at other people's member guests, because then that's fun. I get to go to places right. I don't normally go. Yeah, exactly. So, Bizu, come here. Bizu, come. Didn't want to be disruptive there. Oh, Mike's going to have an eagle gimme. Look at this. Woo! An eagle gimme. Wow. Gimme eagle for Mike to start. Wow. <laughs> Mm. I apparently am gonna have to work for my eagle. Nice start, partner. Mike's Jeez. gonna be like, oh. Mike's gonna be like, you know what? I thought you guys said this course was hard. <laughs> it's only fucking, the first hole. Fucking 200. It's only the first hole. 
Yeah, and to be honest, again, like the reason why this hole was hard in the first hole is because it is the first hole and you have that water. And when we played there, like I said, I laid up with a three wood because there's no way I was going to go for the other fairway. And I didn't, how do you know how far you need to carry that? Yeah. Like we know in here, because you have the sim. Bill's going to have a gimme birdie. Oh, gimme birdie. rounding error. Holy. Gimme birdie for Bill. Wow, I got to chip this in just to be the only guy who doesn't have to putt, huh? <laughs> no way to get to that second round quick. Mark. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm going to go pull up my scorecard and find out what I played. Yeah, I get why they don't take any more rounds than the ones that are posted. That makes sense to me. But, but yeah, kind of sucks because I would like to know what I played this day. I remember. I don't remember playing great. I did not play as bad as you're talking. You played though. Oh my God. No. I way, didn't man. par a hole until nine. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Go oh, on. I'm going to be short. I'm going to have to putt. Yep. Four putt. penalty strokes on the front nine I had. Wow, wow, wow. One on the first hole. I doubled this. Wow. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Not. That was a bad day. I remember not enjoying myself. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Again, I don't remember a lot about this. I remember the Bloody Mary was good. I remember really wanting a second one. I remember it was an hour for Brainerd, so that drive really sucked. Um, so I remember that. So yeah, but I don't remember. I, I have no recollection of how I played other than, again, I remember this first hole. Now we'll see as we play this thing if some of the other holes come back to me. Um, I remember this first hole very vividly though. Hammered it. Wow, so I make par and down two right out of the gate. Woo, get your butt up there. All right, that ain't five, gentlemen. Woo, so you better giddy up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you better start. I say this every time, but I'm proven right almost always. You better start hoarding strokes. You better start hoarding those strokes. Back nine Brandon is a real phenomenon. Yeah, I don't remember this hole at all. So, just funny how that works. Memory is a fragile thing. Stay there. Stay there. I think it's something about um, that television show House. It's like in the first or second episode. I think it's the second episode of the entire series. Stop what her is, in the T's. What, what is it? Wilson says something like, I think something like, uh, yeah, assumption, obvious, some, assumption often uh, uh, fools us on the road to truth. And House's replies is like, yeah, and triteness kicks us in the nass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of that, but that was a thing that occurred to me. Were you being trite? No, not yet. <laughs> Big to differ. Oh, oh, he saved, saved it. it. Barely, it felt saved funny. Saved it with the open face. Yeah, I know, it felt funny coming through. Woo! Woo! Two for two on fairways. <laughs> I'm one for two. I don't care. It's like an eagle. <laughs> Broke the tee. Kick, big kick there. Go that way. Had to. Uh, not big enough though. Not big enough though. No, oh, come here. Jeez, you guys are fucking 60 yards further up than me. How far did I hit my piece of shit? I hit that one good actually for a change. I have not been driving the ball that well in the last, ever since my return from California, but that one. Yeah, 270. That one's much, oh, much more. Only 40 uh, yards ahead of you. Much more my typical. <laughs> Can I not do math? I mean, that's no, still maybe about seven yards shorter where I'd like to be, but <laughs> still, it's reasonable. All right. Woo! Uh huh. Woo! Mm. I'm gonna have two bottles up there. Four. I did again rewatch. Get up there. That'll work. Yeah. Woo! Woo! We're going low today, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that ain't a gimme, so. No, but. but uh, <laughs> going low today. Yeah, I mean, we'll two putt at worst. 
Yeah, I just had a really bad putt there. Um, in reality, I don't think the uh, my line was bad. I just gunned it way, way too hard. Oh my God, 5.2 degrees right? This does not look like I'm that far right, but obviously I am. Yeah, that hill that kicked you right yep, almost yep, got I'm you to the fairway. I'm still on it on some level. Ooh, I still have some of that. Uh... There you go. Too far though, I think. Spin now, please. Spin now, please. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it stuck cool. a little bit. Yeah, 11,000. Out of the rough? That's how much you got. Yeah, you that's how much I got was 11,000, right? Like, it would have backspun had it not been in the rough. Yeah, 9,000. So it yeeted off 3K. Yeah. Two and a half. Which is fair. Three. Yeah. Very fair. Quite fair, as a matter of factual. Quite fair. All right, BZ Hound. Ah, oh, ah, get him. Ah, gotcha. Oh, man, the bill got you. Got gotcha. <laughs> you. Yeah. Piper got his hair cut the next day, and he's a handsome fella again. Yeah, week and a half, and then he gets his hair cut, which would be great. Just the time for this fucking snow to melt. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the, the benefit for my dog spin. being cut. Oh, look at this. Jesus. thought this golf course was hard. Everybody's longest birdie putt's 18 feet <laughs> on hole two. And this is for Bill to be two under through two and Mike to be three under through two and Brandon to find under par two. So, all right. I, again, I don't remember a lot of these holes. So they we'll weren't see. like postcard holes. It was just normal Minnesota, middle of the whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like if I, my recollection would argue that the second hole here is probably pretty indicative of what we're going to see today, which is... We're in the woods and hit the ball straight. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that hard enough? I don't think it is. Just a skosh light. Skosh light. Pushed it. Yeah, that pushed it too. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think it goes in even if I don't push it. But, whatevs. I'm just playing my game. Ooh, I'm going to have a sidewinder. Nope. Nope. Boy, that new putter can't get here fast enough. <laughs> it's funny you told me the putter that you got. Yep. And then immediately my YouTube feed is like, the hot putter for 2024. And then it was like all stuff on the lab putter. So I got a peek at what yours is going to look like. Y'all? Yeah, the DF4 or DF3, I'm sorry. Okay, that's yeah, the they were I talking about with. the three. Yep, that's the one I went with. Mm -hmm. The 2.1 is still the gold standard, perhaps, but. Oh, with the three. Wow. Woo! Kirby starts off with a three-stroke lead on Brandon. Spicy! What are you sitting down for, dumb nuts? You I'm not. You go hit. No. Yeah, right. No. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I'll allow it. I like it a lot. This is what I'm excited about. <laughs> I'm excited about all of them, but this one I'm also excited Ooh. about. Ooh. I was going to say, Brandon needs some excitement from the sounding from the week that he had. Oy. You ain't wrong. Yo. Now I'll go hit. Yeah, boy. <laughs> well done. Ooh. Par three. Hmm. Yep, par three action. Coming at you. Hot par three action. Okay, so the part about this I'm excited about is Chardonnay barrels because Ooh. I am always enamored by somebody <laughs> who puts whiskey in Chardonnay. Last time I had one of those would be... What, the Quails Gate? Isn't that a Chardonnay one? Yes. Do not recall. I believe it is. Yes. And I thought that one was good. Justin Blanford argued that one sucked, but as a psalm, it's probably fair. But I liked it. I liked it quite so a bit. an abomination. Oh, speaking of which, speaking of which, that reminds me. Um, you and me have to have a conversation about the next time you go to Costco. Okay. I want you to hunt two bottles for me if you could. Wah, wah. Is this whole whole eleven at Meadows? And oh, well, they're gonna give you a penalty. You're not even gonna get to play that as it lies. So oh. you're gonna have to decide where you want to go penalty wise. Oh. I would argue you probably want to go back to the tee because I don't know if I'd want to hit this shot. <laughs> Enjoy your three-stroke lead, bitch. What three-stroke lead? <laughs> three-stroke oh. lead. Hardly knew ye. <laughs> well, technically, I could drop the ball. You there. could, but you're gonna take a penalty. It's a lateral, so. You're not uh, played as it lies. Uh, yeah. 
So you're either going to take that or a flag line. Oh, my God, they won't let you go. Oh, yeah, go back to the... So, I mean, you can do whatever you want. I would argue you should retee just because. <laughs> Woo! I don't think there's any advantage, Hosley, Hosel face. Um, Mike, I know you were playing good. You didn't have to spot us. No, I was watching one of those videos on, um, you know, Kirkland branded things, and is it good yeah. or is it not yeah. good? Yeah. And there were two bottles of Kirkland wine that ah. the Somme liked, and given the price, I'd be willing to take a flyer on both of them. All right, give me a picture or name, and I will track yep. them for you. One of them is oh, the that Chablis. Was pure, which, baby. Every time I've ever had a Chablis, I've really long. enjoyed them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Wow, nice shot. Boy, no fucking. Brad's got to pull a game out of his rectum parts here, I guess. <laughs> hey. Oh, prof. Is it Blanford? Did he hear us talking about him? <laughs> Did he, was he watching on stream? That'd be fun. <laughs> Stop talking shit about me. I'm on my way. Guys, I heard you did whatever. So here's five bottles of wine out of my collection. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Blanford move. Yeah, if he doesn't book in the next week and a half, I'm going to see him at gin tasting, and then I'm ride act. I'll be like, hey. Operation, what the fuck, numb nuts? Yeah. Yeah, what are, what, what, what are we? What are we, not friends anymore? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Did, did I say something bad about you on stream that <laughs> I don't remember? Poopy. Somehow Go. saved it. Is it got no. enough? That was poopy. That was poopy. It's your move. You've been like dog dick short lately. I mean, that one there, I'm just in the map. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. So oh, look at the look at KT <laughs> bending around the toe. <laughs> yeah, like that probably didn't do the ball any favors as I catch the string before I catch the ball, probably. So <laughs> it's not good news. That's all. Setup issue. That looks a little better. Just gotta, gotta scramble. Save it. Chip that junk in. All right, I'll have to wait for next tee. Mid one. All right, 40, two up. Jeez. It's gonna fucking hurt. Way to go, numb nuts. Basically, that's gonna make me drop two strokes. <laughs> yeah, you're giving a couple back on that one. That's, uh. I could care less about, I want the. I'm gonna par, bitch. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do some pull on here. So I don't think we gotta play that much. 40, two up, that's gonna be more like 55-ish. Damn it. Too hard, huh? A mm -hmm. little too firm. Touch. Well, if it was a little shorter, it might have might have had more time to. I mean, I pulled it too, but I, I played for pulling it. Like, yep. I underplayed the break, figuring that, because, yeah, that is my miss on long putts is yeah. pulling, which, yep, yep. Eh, it's not atypical. That makes me a pretty average putter, I would argue. If only that was a lab putter, you probably would have went in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubts. No doubts. Oh, I can't wait. I'm but excited. I have to wait probably another three to four weeks. So. Oh, geez. The question yeah. is, will you have your putter before I have my irons? I don't know when you're going to have your irons. I'm I telling you, four to five weeks. That's mine was three to six weeks that I'm at the four week. Mine was four to six when I ordered mine. Yeah. Is what they told me though. So it's like, again, I could have just took the specs and went online. The only reason I ordered from them was because theoretically it'd be faster. Because hmm. I mean, a club fitter is almost always going to have some kind of priority over Rando oh, right. Joe buying it from yeah. Rando Joe Face. Yeah. But, but if but they just got them off the shelf, then they just. Uh, <laughs> Couldn't quite get throw it in a box and ship it because they've got a bajillion of them. That'd be the hope. Oh well. Because yeah, all these are different depending on lie angle. And again, my lie angle is very weird. I'm a I very see. I see. I'm a very non-typical putter apparently. Yeah, I've heard you're a toe putter. An unabashed toe putter. Not for long, baby. <laughs> I gotta give that up now. So that's gonna require some work. But just like every, oh, oh God, harder. Just a touch more, hit a perfect putt too. But just like everybody in this world who needs to get something to go away, I just have to accentuate the exact opposite to a dramatic fashion, right? Like if you're, if you're suffering from a hook problem, then in your swing, when you're practicing, not on the real course, but when you're practicing, it's like, all right, I'm gonna try to hit a slice as hard as I can. Like just to try to adopt that feeling, right? So in my case, when I get this, I'm literally going to be a heel putter. Oh. Oh, I'm going to try Rough. to feel like I'm putting off the heel. So wow, Bill takes the lead. 
Because Mike makes trip on the par three. Owie yeah. town. Maintain much. par. Doesn't matter. That hurts. <laughs> that doesn't feel like five strokes. You guys are fucking doomed. I'm coming back for his ass anyway. Mm. So High West, I always, I always, there's a certain, you know, I mean, like every distiller has a smell. Like I could pick out Johnny like that. I could pick out uh, Glenn uh, Fittich like that, right? Like depending on some smells. Um, High West has a smell. Oh, so does Far North. Far North always has a similar smell to it that I could pick out. Oh, did I save it? Oh, yep, you did it's again. not super great, but. But there is definitely like a, Kind of be okay. Ah, uh, first missed fairway of the day. For me, there's a sour kind of, or not sour, but like, there is like a whiny kind of mm -hmm. grapey note to that somewhere hiding, which is the part I'm really excited for. Because every time I've ever had whiskey and Chardonnay, I've always really liked it. Sour grapes. Cheers, boys. All right. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. So you get the Chardonnay to begin with. Yeah, that's a different bit. Normally, I figure I you leave that more for later at the end, but not this, this one, like, you kind of pick it up right away. Yeah. And, and then, then it kind of settles in and becomes a, a high west. Yeah. That's good. Interesting. Oh, I, I like that. Let's just be real clear. <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I've never had anything in a Chardonnay barrel I have disliked to this day. Oh, do I dare? This is getting... Danger zone. As I let that sit though, sorry, I'm banging my microphone, viewers. Um, as I let that sit though, it does feel a lot more whiny the longer it sits with me. Like the longer it sits with me, the more it tastes like I drank a wine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, it had a little bit of like that dryness to it. That I always associate with like a, a dry, wine. nice dry wine. Yeah. Sit. You're gonna please join sit. me. Please sit. Please sit. Please sit. 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 Well. Sit. 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 I'll deal with it. Yeah. You're a little bit further than me. Well, normally I would play that further over, but I have kind of had this. I've pulled a few shots. Both drivers I've hit today, I've pulled. So I'm like, I play any further over and I pull that thing and it gets low into that tree, then I'm aft. Oh, wow. I'd much rather be where you are and just be through the fairway. Yeah, I'm a little bit further back and the pin's left, so I don't think either of us are gonna probably have an issue with no, it. No, I got a buck 57. I mean, if I can't make a buck 57 work, I should just hang it up. It's just out of the rough. It's tricky. It's gonna be tricky for me. Somebody's just going straight yeah, over. Yeah, Mike took the aggressive route that I wanted to, oh, but didn't feel like I could. So he's gonna have a little flip handsomely. wedge. Yep, he's gonna have a little flip wedge. Yep. Jeez. Nice shot. There you Jeez. Well, I'll just gotta wait till the next par three, and then he can puke three strokes back on me. No! <laughs> Too soon? The shit talk doesn't start. It just organically is always there, kind of laying around. It never stops. It's like a patina. It's just, it's just baked into the thing. <laughs> You either get get used to it or you get lost. That's just how it works. Adapt or die. <laughs> I'd never change it. Oh, turf monster! Yeah, you matted that hard. I did. Uh, trying to get more out of it. Duh. Trying to get more out of it instead of just being. Uh, Oh, God, that's tasty. I thought I heard a door. Somebody ordered lunch? Uh, not me. I'm still trying to be, although I've been, that's the problem with having a lot of stress in your life. It's like, it is so hard to have enough fucks to give. <laughs> like, I'd lost practically 10 pounds um, as of like two weeks ago already, and then this last two weeks have been terrible. And it's just because like, when life gets tough, the diet's the first thing to go. Brandon tends to punish himself via the diet when mm -hmm. things go bad. Did 
usually with alcohol. Golly, cut a little bit more, would you? Big bounce. All right, that'll be a shot. That'll be a shot. It's called Not comfort food. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, how many I, times did as you I've gotten older Bell this week? <laughs> as I've gotten older, or more importantly, as I've gotten, um, how do I say this without sounding pretentious? Uh, you can't. Okay, I you're cannot. You're right. You're right. There's no way. way I can say this without being pretentious. So I'll just say the pretentious shit. As I've gotten wealthier. Um, my punishment food is no longer like Taco Bell, which is what it was when I was young. Mm -hmm. Now my punishment food is Indian food. Ah. And by the way, that's a great punishment food, right? Because there's nothing punishing about it. It's just amazing. Yep. Funny enough, so that's two what weeks we had for dinner last night. So two <laughs> weeks in a row, my punishment food was <sighs> tikka masala, mm -hmm. lamb rogan josh, Ooh. Um, black paneer, momos, <laughs> and then eat them until I cannot feel feelings, <laughs> and then a half an hour later, go try to eat some more. <laughs> oh, someone's trying to, uh, someone's trying to, uh, um, pig butcher me. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, Mike. Oh. You hosel mother... Yeah, that's pretty bad. You hosley Ooh. mother effer. Yeah. You know what's funny? It's got to be really interesting for the lurkers in the stream <sighs> because, like, you're sitting there doing work or you're doing something else. You're not maybe watching us 100% of the time. Somebody, all of a sudden, oh! you hear somebody oh! oh, and you're like, where's that 10 second rewind button so I can see what just happened? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Shout out to the lurkers. We like the lurkers too. Oh, look at wow, that. Wow, that's a hell of a putt. Oh, bogey. That's a that's hell of a putt. Take it. Hell of a putt. Take it. God take dang it. it. Yeah, two, two pretty Two not very good. not good shots. Yep, that, and I only paid for it with one shot, so we'll, we'll take it. Well, that's the key to good golf right there, though. The key to good golf is to make your fuck ups not hurt as much, right? Like not letting that spiral into trip, right? Yep. That's what I tell Bruce all the time. I'm like, yep. dude, if you're a 17, 20, 25 handicap, and I've known many of you guys in my life, <laughs> like the answer is to stop the trips. Yep. And then after that, the answer is to stop the dubs or to limit yourself to like one dub around. Because in all honesty, you could play 85 just by doing nothing but making bogey all day. Yep. Goddamn long. Because sooner or later, you'll make a few pars. You'll make a few pars if you're not a horse oh. golfer. Oh. Nice putt though. But I mean, that, that's the key, right? The key when you're a guy who's trying to keep it under a hondo is to just, just hit bogeys. Make your mistakes a bit smaller. Yeah, the things like, that blow you up, try to avoid, right? Especially if you're like on the Like when we first met, the only reason why I got to single digits in handicap was because I had I would have a round where I basically have nine bogeys and nine pars. Right. It's like, you know, not good in retrospect, yeah, but even good Even pros enough. make bogeys like shit. I watched... Uh, I watch the players. I watch the other ones. Like, they make plenty of bogeys. It's mm -hmm. just they make a lot more birdies than I do. Yep, yep, yep. How about Scotty Scheffler uh, back to back of the players, huh? Isn't that cool, huh? Yeah. It came back. Oh, like... man. It didn't even take all these holes, you guys. Down three. Did three you're... holes ago. Oh. <laughs> Hey, all you had to do is just hang on. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, Bill? Look at this. I remember this hole vaguely, though, because I remember this. <laughs> I remember, like, but where we were playing that day, I remember thinking choosing this would be crazy. I don't remember if I chose this or not. I think I did. I think I might have actually hit for this when we were there in real life. Now, obviously, today I'm absolutely going to hit for this, but I think I did. I think I did when we were there. Makes I have a hard time remembering. Makes I you mean, better than me. Better than most. Ooh. Although in golf, that's literally true. Oh, like, like a two minute delay on that burn. Like that thing just came back and just. That's not the whiskey, that's acid reflux, my friend. <laughs> that's you being old as shit. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little sad. Turns out I'm gonna be 46 this summer. Oh shit. You guys are both so fucking old, everybody. Like I'm the young gun, young pup. Why do I look so much better than you though? <laughs> I live a hard life. <laughs> it's all those times working in the coal mines. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Gonna be good. That's gonna be good, baby. <laughs> oh oh well yeah. Done. I did my job there. Hey, you did. 
262 carry. That's a little bit more Brandon typical when I'm hitting the driver well. Yeah. But I mean, <clears throat> felt it. Yeah, I'm glad felt you brought the sweet spot. Guy. Glad you brought him to the forefront because I, I, I like those numbers there. Yeah, I mean, I like I like a better full screen, but when we're streaming, I like to be able to see this, and yep. I like to be able to see this to make sure our mics aren't dead. Yep. No, this is a perfect setup. So. I don't need to see what's going on there. I got a I got a big screen version over here. Yeah. Yeah, and those numbers, again, like, they were less important when these numbers over here weren't awful, but once these numbers over here change, now this becomes, I think, critical. Yeah, because this is driving range numbers, what I'm yeah. used to. I don't really care what happens over there. I just want to make sure the game's going to do what it's going to do. Yeah, my carry, when I'm hitting driver, my carry number down there is the number I look at because I know if I hit it good, for me, it's 260, 265. That's my, like, good carry. Yes, I'd love to have another 30 yards of carry like the pros. I don't, right? I just know what my number is. The pro carry number is only like 270, 275 for average. Like, only like the super right, guys the long, are out there. Right, the long bombers is 292. Yes, yeah, they're carrying it almost 300. 300. Yep. And yes, I'd love to have that number, but I don't. And so the fact that I don't means I don't. So yeah. just know what my number is. I'm a big, firm believer in just golf within yourself, right? <laughs> like... Know what your numbers are and try to get good shots for your numbers. Like, nope. the golf course doesn't care, and this was reinforced by my trip to California, right? The golf course doesn't give a shit if I had a six iron or a seven iron or an eight iron. You know what? Golf course doesn't care. Nope. It doesn't care. Whoever puts the ball in the green is what matters. Mm -hmm. No! Uh-oh. I saw that ball. Yeah. Shit. You, yeah, yeah, you I know I yanked the, it. Yeah, trying to get a little more and just. Yeah, yeah. No, as you're sitting there aiming for that shot, my only thought going through my head, and of course I'd never say anything to stop you because why would I? But like, as I'm sitting there watching it, my only thought was like, oh, he's been like pull scuffing it. Like, that is the one thing you cannot do. Oh, that puts you a long way back, yeah. brother. I mean, you're practically back there, yeah. Because imagine that, right? Like this is where mm -hmm. this is where you went in. So yep. on the on the yep. flag line, you're basically here. Yep. So yeah, I would I would uh, yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't tempt it. That's unfortunate. So that, that's why I think this should have been the thing you did in the first place. Because if that's your miss, like that other shot was way worse. I get that you give up a bunch of yards on us, but at least you're alive. And it's a five. And it's not a long five, right? Right. Yeah, no, I, uh, I hosed it. Nobody I wants Dune? Anybody want Dune? Dune? I'll leave, I'll leave her if somebody doesn't yeah. have it, because I have a paperback okay. version. All right. so. Well, then I'll put it up in the bookstore. So I feel like it's only fair to give that to somebody that needs it. here a week or so ago and we discovered that somebody here a couple blocks we put up one of those tiny libraries in their front oh, yard oh yeah and there's already been a there's already a bunch in my neighborhood but a brand new one so we had to go check it out because <laughs> my hidden thing that i enjoy doing is going up to the bookstore there grabbing some books and then i donate them yep it's fun i don't know why this is important but you, maybe you should share this with steven oh god here we go Star Wars Phantom Menace is back in theaters May 3rd to celebrate the 25th oh, anniversary <laughs> of Jesus episode H. one. Holy God. Jesus H. Christ. When did I get old? How did that How did that one get 25 years old? I was in my 20s when that came out. That can't be right. <laughs> All right. Chunky. Chunky. It's going to be in the bunker. Oh, short. Yep. Yeah. Saw that. Felt that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should say I, I felt that. <laughs> yep. Okay. One, six, eight I have for a pill. I mean, this is the right club. It's just I got to hit it a lot better than I did the last time. I pulled it out of the bag. So we'll see what we can do. Try our best. 
Golf with honor, you will win. That's what they tell me. I have to hole out for par from 115. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded a solid. Yeah, it wasn't my best. A little pull, I catch a but piece. no fade. I'm not going to catch a piece, yeah. Right club, though. Pull with no fade is why I screwed that up. Yeah. And I aimed a little bit right to play the pull, but that five degree pull is too much pull. Yep. So, yeah, well, I, the problem is there's a big difference, though. When you're on that putting green, man alive, you have a shot. When you're mm -hmm. over there in the rough off the green, mm -hmm. you still got a shot, but it's obviously a lot harder. pull with no fade it's almost like i took a page out of the wrong person's book and now i gotta yep. get up and down for double yup i would uh concur with that reasoning you're not wrong Shiza. trip to dessert town trip to dessert town the scotch he bought for me i know what bill likes <laughs> This is my scotch versus the world pick. This is the one round where I'd argue the world won. This is another wine, uh, wine cask, except that's an Australian dessert wine cask. Thank you, Australia. A little clicky. Yeah, 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 thin. Thin, yeah. thin. Yeah, island full of criminals. The, uh, the grooves on Mike's club, he's got double the groups of you and me and they're all bored. <clears throat> they're all like, golly, I'd like to do something here sooner or later. Instead of you wanging it off the uh, bounce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sucks to be everybody. Oh my God, where are you going there, Haas? You're gonna get that. You're gonna get it to work, though. Um, yeah, enough of it got in there. That's my double. But what I discovered is, is when there aren't other people over. Oh, I'm nervy. Yep. Um, when there are when there aren't other people over, then yeah, there's really no quarter to be had in this place, right? Like there is nobody's getting a break. Nobody's getting whatever it is. You are gonna be mercilessly ridiculed for every bad shot. You can't gonna wait to go outside and do this so that everyone in the world can hear it. It's not like this is on the internet, preserved for posterity. No, no, no. It's not like this is ever precluding anybody from running for office. <laughs> Again. It's the best reason to be on here then, right? It slams the door on any of that bullshit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, that's a nice shot. I don't know how you pull those shots off. Well judged. Well done. Yeah, I did push it. Bidwell for Eagle. Please don't. Yeah, it would have been nice had I not pulled that one just a scotch. Seven. Oh my God, I'm almost short. Yep, just need to hit that a little harder. But give me birdies, they're never bad. Yep. Honored we travel. Quite the spread going here now, fellas. 194. I do seem to recall though that these threes are tough. Yeah. I mean, because when you get to this hole in real life, the water and the shit isn't in play, but you got a long yardage. It's just and long. Visually, it gives you a lot of meat to chew on. And I don't mean that as a compliment, right? Like there's shit happening everywhere here. It reminds me a lot of Deacons that way, where you get to these threes, it's like this hole is better or easier than it looks. But it's a daunting setup. It gives you a lot of crap to look at that's, again, not in play, but visually alarming. Australian dessert whiskey. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Cheers. Cheers. It's not the most desserty. The MVD is way more desserty than this, but. That is way different than every other thing we've drank today. <laughs> Best thing so far. You like oh, that one the best? That High West was pretty good. I would say that Glass Owl was. The Glass Owl was not bad. Little, it has like a weird smoky. Like You're asking me to pick favorites? That's like picking favorite kids for me. Like, it's hard to pick a favorite whiskey. Although I do have a favorite you, whiskey, obviously, but you it's not out here. Favorite kids. <laughs> so, of the ones we've had today, though, I don't know, man. Like, I, for me, the Glen Glass Owl is probably my favorite of the ones we've tried today. 
But I mean, that's some of that's recency bias too, right? Like, it's new, so of course I find that, and it's good. I'm sorry, you were gonna say, Mike? Well, Freud has a lore. They do, yep. That was what I was actually also looking for. I've, I've never had it, but uh, they've had it for a while. And I mean, for me, again, like if I could find another one of those uh, uh, Kaderis ones that we had here before too, like, oh my God, that those are so good. Mm -hmm. Go, please. Go, please. Go, please. Well, the fact that I'm going to be able to putt that is a miracle considering how like, <laughs> awful I hit it. It's California all over again, baby. Take two more clubs than you need, hit it like Duke, and putt for birdie. Profit. That's the last step. <laughs> profit. Something, something, profit. 194. My God. Yeah, this is... This is a radically different thing I than anything. Yeah, I, I don't know what was happening on this round, but it was not one of my, this might have been one of the worst rounds I played. Could be just the setup, the layout, the day, I don't know. I mean, I don't think I played bad, but the only reason why I'm guessing that is because I, I seem to recall the, day, the next day we went into the tournament at the Classic. I, yeah, I and I don't remember, remember feeling bad about my game going in there. Right. I remember that, that course making me feel bad eventually because I remember having a pretty good first hole, but then I took a chance on the second, ended up in the water, and, then, and that started a downward spiral of awful. And the Classic has that way on me, if I'm mm -hmm. being honest. Like, I like that course a lot, but I think I've played it maybe five times in my life, and I think I've only played it any good once. I think every other time that course has eaten my freaking lunch. Just a hair heavy in the turf. So, oh, God, that turf does, like, wonders for your back. Well, for me, it's my elbow. It's my right elbow. I get what amounts to tennis elbow or turf elbow. And again, everybody, if you ever read online, they will all tell you the same thing, that this mat will kill your joints. Like... To the point that people will get rid of them. But for me, my, I have a hard time. Right here. It's like, just like. What are you doing I, that it's there, though? I don't know. That's just where it's getting me. Huh. Wrists, elbows seem to be fine. But yeah, for me, it's this elbow. To the point that I have that uh, doodad in the house that I use for exercising. Mm, um, it's shake a, weight. No, it's a. Um, <laughs> golly, what's it called? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyways, you do this with it and stretch this tendon. Yeah, I got one of those too. It feels good though when it. Oh, I don't know if it feels as good as a shake weight, but uh, it feels. <laughs> it feels like the first time hurts like a son of a bitch. Ooh, like you're like, owie! Hey. Oh man, this circle feels more generous today. <laughs> We've seen a couple of those. Good save. Yeah. But no, the first time or two, Bill hurts. Like you're like, ow, oh. ow, and then after that, once it stretches out a little bit, then after that, it feels great. Kind of like I would imagine, you know. Kind of like stretching your hamstring, like, you know, if it's stiff, like the first couple mm -hmm. times feel bad, and then after you kind of get it going, it's, it's a good thing. Oh, that's firm. Run! Get in He's there! He's going to get Run there, there too. Woo. This is the difference between Woo. times before and whatever. We've seen a lot of gimmies out of these Woo. two. Not Brandon, Woo. by the Woo. way, but a lot of gimmies out of Woo. these two. Need it. This is brutality here. So yeah. we've got... A 54 yard foot putt that's a foot uphill, so it's more like a 60, 65 footer, and it breaks a lot. And basically, I'm just playing for the circle, so anything in the circle here is a win. Let's just do something like that, I think. And if I'm high, that's the pro miss I'm okay with. Okay, 54, 64, probably more like 65, 60, 60, 60, Samsonite. Oh, boy. Sid, don't make me put again, please. I, oh, oh, rounding error. Oh. These guys got the rounding error. Come on. <laughs> Math. No. Oh. Jeez, this is not a nice one to miss the rounding on. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> got all these five footers where you're aiming, a, you know. Outside a cup and a half outside the hole. <laughs> Jesus. That's a lot. Oh. 
just hammer stroked it. I don't understand, I guess. It was fairly level, right? And I get that it was only five feet, but I don't feel like I hit, well, I suppose I did. All right, well, so be it. Ooh. So be it. That was a bogey, huh? Damn. All right. Well. Me and that fucking putter. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. Sam, if you're watching Sam, build my putter first. Fuck all these other people. Just build Brandon's putter first. <laughs> Sweet shots, Fargo. They're the orderer. Just fulfill their order first, Sam. Help me out. By the way, Sam's fun to watch. He's got the lab 2-1, so he's the founder of the company. And he just bangs his putts all five, six feet by because he's so confident that he can make a six-footer, he doesn't give a crap. So it's like everything races way by the hole. It's just weird to watch. Ooh. He, uh, he also putts with the cigarette out of his mouth. Just, which, I mean, oh my God, I don't even understand that. But he does that the whole Mike, time. Mike just, putts with a cigar hanging out of his mouth. I don't understand that either, by the way. But he also putts one-handed, so... I also don't really... understand that. <laughs> no part of Mike that I currently, like, comprehend in any reasonable fashion. Nobody does. <laughs> He's one of a kind. They don't make them like they used to. Avoid that. Well, you avoided the water at least. Yeah, I'm into deep shit. Whatever. Mm. You're gonna make. Introduce it. yourself to Penalty Town. So that's a penalty. Did you get lateral. So they've got him dropped here in the middle, which they're considering out of the hazard. Right. Which may be the cheapest. Well, he's got option. options, but yeah, I was gonna say it might be the cheapest. He's got that. Option. He's got flag line as an option, and then he's got whatever. But he'll have to just choose. I mean, I think one of these probably makes sense, but I the 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 problem is, and by the way, Bill has already expressed this on stream, so I'm gonna express it again. Like the problem is. Oh fuck! I misunderstood that. What do you click? No, when I was aiming. Yeah. I misunderstood that this basically this entire thing was fucking. Lateral. It is, right. And I didn't think it was. Mm. So what'd you do? Well, yeah, you're way back there, which I don't know if that's gonna be good. You're 216 out, which I don't know, 216 in the rough. I think that's better than going back to the tee, because yeah, 216 out of the rough, you can get on the green. Yeah, it is. You know, and still have a par putt. So I do think that's a better approach. Now, lateral versus flag line, I can't tell you which one of those was a better idea, yeah. but. Oops. Bill going to the old school. Yeah, I just that one's a little short and it's been causing problems for me, I think. Well then just yeah, okay. I mean you can pillage a bigger one if you want. Yeah, I could. I just figured it'd be easier just to pull out the whoopsies. Well that Well, I mean you didn't go into the shit, I guess. Yeah, that took a fairly good bounce. I'll take I mean Mike went into the shit, but I tell you right now, when he was aiming, I was thinking to myself like a laying up here. I'm still thinking of laying up. I because I just think this right here is so effing narrow. Yeah, yeah, I had that thought. Well, and I was basically going on the assumption of how I've been hitting. So yeah. I was going. And to be here. quite honest, like I don't understand what I don't remember what I did in real life here. Like I honestly have no recollection of what I would have done in real life. Um, no idea. But. I mean, everything here, even this spot over here that I wouldn't have thought would have been a hazard has been drawn as a hazard. So yeah. whether it is or it ain't, it yeah. is in here, is and that's it? all that matters. Yeah. So that's great. But like, all right, well, then that means I'm going to take all this out of the equation, and I'm just going to hit a four iron here. Like. Yep. And yep. yeah, that means I got to hit a seven iron. Four iron, seven iron. But you know what? Hey, I'm not going to be in the shit, so I'll deal with it. Oh my lord. Well, I'll have more than a seven iron because I hit that pretty bad. <laughs> four iron, four iron? Yeah, I bet it's four iron hybrid. I'm just guessing. Yep, four iron hybrid. Called it. Well. With that being said, though, I'm still stroke ahead of Mike here. Yeah, so. I was going to say. You're still I mean, if I, right. I, I've been hitting the driver okay. I just think that's such a small landing zone. That's dangerous. Now, we could argue I should have hit a hybrid there. I was just worried about getting all the hybrid and putting in that water anyways because that's stupid. Mm -hmm. Nothing's worse than laying up and going, well, I'll take less club and lay up, and then you take a penalty anyways. Yeah. You know, like, I'd rather, I'd rather hit this because at least with this shot, I might still have a birdie putt. Mm -hmm. You don't have a birdie putt if you put your ball in the water like a dick. Don't 
Don't know if that's going to be good. It is absolutely not. Okay, that's well, fine though. Uh, one thing I'd, I'd like to say about this course for oh. the, the designer. Huh. That didn't even read you. No, I got some kind of weird ass misread out of that. I mean, and I'll it, take it just because I felt like that's, I felt like I didn't hit it good and I felt like I got what I deserved. Right. So weird glitch. I'll live with it, but yeah, I don't know. But I think that's true to life. Like they're penalizing us for going into those spots because one, you probably wouldn't find it, and two, if you did, you're probably not hitting it out of that tall... Well, again, I'm good with all of them, except yep. for... Okay, so that one there that I said wasn't, mm -hmm. once we get up here, though, then the computer shades it in. Now, yes, now I agree with it. Yep. When we're back on the tee, though, half of that was just looked like regular rough. I don't know why. It just right. didn't draw in. Yep. That's the part I was complaining about. But in real life with that, sure, I'm with you. Yep. Yeah, I think they just like you said, like, if it is that bad, which I remember this place being pretty fescue heavy. Yeah, yeah. But like, if it's that bad, you're not finding that. No way, man. It's just forcing you to take the penalty that you would probably have to take. Oh, so this is God. what validates Mike's drop. Yep. Because nice. obviously you weren't hitting a drive there, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shot Mike. Thanks. Bill ironically ended up the best off. <laughs> somehow, <laughs> somehow, something something broken clock right twice a day, perhaps. Ah, go get that guy! Ah, get that guy's face! Ah. Holy shit! Well, not when you hit it like that. Captain yeah. Club drop. Ouch! No ouches. We got an entire season coming up here. Don't ouch this shit. It, it me. It you. Ugh. You know they make something for ouch. I think uh, I think my problem is is that I'm playing hero ball and I should. No. <laughs> you know how I feel about hero ball. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. It's like hit this thing hard because you need extra extra yards. Dumb shit. How'd that work out for you? Well, we all know what hero ball gets you in this life. Yep. You ain't wrong. The stream doesn't lie. Stranahan's in a Bushville cask. Those Stranahan Diamond Peaks are just phenomenal. I have two of them, and they're both amaze balls. All right, what are we gonna do here? 32. Let's get this done. somebody else's possession. <laughs> a stressful couple days, kiddo. It's like, it's like the Steelers are playing and losing every day. Dad's just mad. I know, getting there. Getting there. I need to move him in for a proper burial. Don't have a lot of proper burial ones coming up in my direction, actually. Oh, there you go, Mike. Mike's up and down game with the chipper has improved dramatically. That will make your simulator scores look much tastier. No doubt about that. Yeah, what one did I kill yesterday? This week was a heavy drinking week for Team <laughs> No. Oh, it was nothing good. I owed my bottle of Old Granddad. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that's a great bottle, Bill, actually. I know, I've had it. Mm -hmm. You don't drink it straight. You, uh, you mix it, but as a mixer, it's, it's wonderful. Fuck, um, just underplayed it. I hit a perfect pot. So in my case, I was making, oh my gosh, I have a little tiny mini bottle of, uh, of uh, what's it called? The really good vermouth. Help me out again. Oh, Antica. Antica, yeah. Yeah, I have a bottle of that, a mini bottle. And uh, so yeah, this week I was making, uh, I was making a Manhattans with it, and oh my God. 
Oh, no, it's no. so good. No, no, oh, no, no, it's no, no, so no. good. And and by the way, I know there are people out there who say you shouldn't spend forty dollars on a bottle of vermouth. Those people are all wrong, by the way, because, <laughs> because it makes such a good Manhattan. It is worth it. Like, why are you buying such a nice whiskey, whether or not it's bourbon or scotch, whatever you're buying, why buy such a nice whiskey and then put a cheap, shitty $11 vermouth in it? Like, don't do that, people. Yep. That's stupid. Yep. That's stupid. Don't neglect your vermouth. All right. Message of the day, kids. God damn right. The more you know. Do, 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 do. There you go. All right. Brandon goes back to under par. God, if I could just putt though. All right. Hey, look at this, Derby. A whole you guys aren't gonna go out of the well, I should say that, but <laughs> actually, you know what I'm seeing here though, right? Oh, give me that cart path suit! Give me that cart path juju. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I want to be right next to that yeah. green, baby. Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> If there are any memes that are going to carry over into this season, that's the one I would like. See what you're doing? I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, the only reason that four is in there was because um, uh, Marcus and Eli were here, and one of those guys wanted it. Yeah. So I brought it out. Otherwise, I normally do not have a five yeah, and a four. Yeah, I need the six, but we only have one six. So yeah, take the four out and replace the six with it. That's what I would do. That's what I always do. So, just do it. Yeah, it might be a little right. Car path, baby. Come on. Ah, towed it. I knew I towed it. Not the worst leave on the short. No, like no. This. I mean, I I purposely aimed to miss the fairway because I was purposely aiming for the cart path. So I regret nothing. <laughs> I regret nothing. Oh man. Yeah, the six isn't even in this thing. It's the seven and a five over here. So where did the six go? Mm -hmm. the six is yeah, tall. and the seven's a little tall. The six is what? I, mean, I think we broke all tall. the sixes, didn't we? No, six. you don't. You never break these stems. The stems are essentially unbreakable. You break the piece that the stem attaches to. Nope. So if the six isn't here, it's on the ground somewhere. Just fucking go out of bounds. Oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. No! Oh, I thought you were gonna carry him off that He's tree. Gonna get a little... He gets a free one! <laughs> what do you mean, free one? It didn't make him do. He went into the tall corn and it didn't make him uh, take a penalty. <laughs> well, look at that though. There's no hazard over there. On the other oh. hand, there is a perilously close out of bounds marker. <laughs> you know, don't, don't, uh, don't do that, uh, shit. children. Oh, wow. I just pulled it a little, but I hit the snot out of it. Oh, stay in the fairway. Stay in the fairway. Let's go. Got away with that one. Bill out drove me. <laughs> oh, mother Am I in the deep shit? No, nope, I'm not in the rough. So my personal T, I'm gonna put my initials on it. <laughs> All right, well, either way though, I arm this as a six. Okay, perfect. So if you I'm do sure need I'll it, it's there. Ooh, it'd be so hound. Yeah, like I said, this four is never in play. It was just in play because of the company we kept. Shout out to Bruce Nash, who will be here, I guess, tomorrow because Brandon didn't block off his calendar in time, so I shall <laughs> honor the calendar appointments. Uh, even yeah. though Rome is currently on fire and there are a couple less buildings in it than there were a week ago, but. Yeah. Oh, deal. look at you, Mike, you're getting away with it. All that tall corn, still single rough. And that is what makes all the difference. It does. Mm-hmm. What are you barking at? Are you out of water? I gave him his food. He had kicked it underneath the yeah, uh, his food. It's just, is he out of water? What? You got water? A little bit in there. Enough for a pipe Keep going. To splash out. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're just greedy Keep going. now. Keep go. going. No, because there's the shelf there. <laughs> hey, eat a nice. You should know any better. Oh yeah, no, I tolerate your I tolerate your general bizuness, but this was not the week for that. <laughs> he was in Josh's lap at the office a few times because he would do something that would annoy me. And yeah, my my tolerance level was <laughs> Whoa, to say the least. <laughs> oh, a little fade, there it is. 
is speed the number. Could be? Nope. Yeah, well, pretty good. Nice shot. Pretty okay. good. Nice been, shot. A, been a few holes since I felt felt a good drive and a good good approach. Okay, 107. Huh? This is First not my favorite. Three were good, and then I've kind of been uh, paint poopy. Look at that tiny ass little kibble. What? Eat your kibble. It's so tiny. All right. There you go. Yeah, a little short, but that'll work. That was a tough one for me to judge. A it's little not short. my favorite yardage. The Brandon Maidenwald story. Eh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Are we drinking this? Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. We're, mm. we're enough in. We don't. Oh, need I like this. One. Yeah, we don't have to. We don't. Oh, 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 oh. fuck you! I'm coming. Oh, we're doing the cheers. All right, that's fine. All here's right. it. Here's the gentleman. All right, let's do it. All right. We're celebrating Tom's birthday this weekend. Mm. One year to go, folks. <laughs> One year to go. <laughs> God, fucking old. We're all old. <laughs> yeah, I looked in the mirror this week and I realized that, like, the occasional, like, not even gray, but white, like, hair I'd have. Like, there were always a couple, but it would be like, there's one here, there's one there. They kind of come out of nowhere. Oh! oh! Nice putt. They kind of come out of nowhere and it's like, all right, that's fine. You know, get one every once in a while. Yeah, this week I happened to look in the mirror and I'm just like, there's more than a couple now. <laughs> At some point, so you like, can't. They are taking root. You can't like, yank them one at a time to to keep the. Uh, I think what's interesting. Well, and I never really did that to begin with. I guess really like because I, think I, I don't did know. my first two or three. Oh, really? then yeah. Eventually, they come in so fast and furious. It's like I guess I never really I keep this up. I guess I never really did that. But what I've noticed is is that now they're coming into the point that it's like I don't think I'm ever going to be gray. I think I'm going to go from my dark brown hair to just white, and that's just, <laughs> just going to be the transition. George Lucas. Huh? I'm going to be like salt and pepper to like completely curl over. Like that's just where it's going to be. Which fine, whatever. I'm not ever going to dye my hair. It is what it is. Just better hope you don't end up with like one of those white patches in the. Just one patch on the back. I of knew your head. somebody like that. I did too. Growing up, I would have made it. Eat. Damn it. Oh. Yes. yes. Oh, shit. Nice. That was a that was a breaker, boys. I needed that one to. I needed yeah, to. Yeah, you like, went to school on mine. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I played buco break there. Oh, my putter like. Oh, I have dishonored my family. <laughs> That's Nick. not racist at all. That was a little racist. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is the last samurai. This guy. This guy is the last samurai. Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh, I pulled it. Shit. Oh, brother. Needed that. Oh, heading back to the clubhouse. Here we go. All right, we like that. Oh man, I'm so happy. Our internet traffic feature, I've been telling you about, remember they wanted like five figures for uh, access to their API? Oh yes. Found somebody willing to offer literally the same data with an ax to grind against all of those guys? Ah. $50 a month. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Fun. He's like, these guys are fucking dumb. This is stupid. This internet, this data is free. Oh, good strike. Nice. Come on. Thank you. Oh, and he nice. gets it. Thank Where you. Where you going, bitch? My first? Although, you know. Oh, damn it. Since I knew we were going to play here, you know what I should have done? I should have gotten all the ingredients for uh, for Bloodies. And we should have did Bloody Mary. Mother Fucker. I remember the Bloody Mary I being very good here. I would have loved you. So never. Bill orders a Bloody Mary because Bill always orders a Bloody Mary. Always. Brandon passes on the Bloody Mary. I think I did. Yep, the first one. But then we went a go round and Bill ordered a second one and I decided to join him in Bloody Mary land and then I regretted not joining him originally because the Bloody Mary here was very good. Yeah, they Came were in one of those metal. Um, oh, the those Luma, metal. The Luma, yep, the Luma, aluminum Luma, little uh, yeah. glass. Yeah, they were the, the uh, glass. solo cups, but they made out of aluminum. Correct. They're very good. Uh -oh. Now, I, oh, towed it. Yep, toe banged it. 
He's dreaming about aluminum solo cups. Yeah, and now I remember what hole I got mine on. We haven't been there yet, so we're going to get to the back, and I'm going to remember this par five, because I remember I thought I hit the guys on the hole next after us. You remember this? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, In any event, um, I... Uh, but then I was sad because I only got to have one. Yeah. Because the freight cart lady must have took her 20-minute break. She was pretty and, slow, if I And recall. then didn't get back to us. And then by the time we had an opportunity, I think we are on 18, and I was yep. the guy driving. So I'm like, hey, you got to pass now. Where were you an hour ago? Yeah. Oh, that's thin. Not only don't drink and drive, children, but also don't chug one in the parking lot and drive because that's even stupider than drinking and driving. Shit. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to be 15 miles down the road when this kicks in. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I, too, like to live dangerously. <laughs> well, right. That was fun. Uh, we're planning a family trip there at some point this summer. Oh, You've yeah. been saying? Yeah. So now You're thinking about going back to Madden's? We were going to Madden's, but then I started looking into Airbnbs, and I can literally get every single person a bedroom. Madden's ain't cheap. Uh, for a lot less. Ah! You Good. hosling mother effer. Yeah. Stop hosling it. Oh. Look at all that club you could hit the ball off of. You know, if you had new grips. You should sell them some. <laughs> I got eight for sale. <laughs> $30 each. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's what I should do. I should just hold, hoard them for six months and then in July put them on the internet for 30 bucks each and see if I could sell them to people who are as desperate as I was. I probably could pay for all the grips I just bought. Probably. I won't do that because that's a lot of work. The Dutch Canuck has entered the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Dutch. Oh, Dutch is back. How you doing, bud? It's been a bit. Hopefully you ain't working hard. Hopefully you are hardly working. <sighs> Fucking hate. You got Fucking this, boss. Hate. I believe in you. <laughs> I don't. I would say, I'm just saying, like, oh, brutal. No, I'm just saying, if it's me, I'm not aiming at that pin. I think that's a sucker pin. I'd aim for the meat of this green and just have a putt. I, that would be my move. Solid contact. Well, and good thing he didn't listen to me because he pulled the bejeebers out of it. I was basically pulling the bejeebers out of it. Ah, the bejeebers were pulled, everybody. And if pulling, you pull, if pulling you pull, jeebers. You pull your bejeebers too hard. It's a full jeeber pull. <laughs> you will have no jeebers left. <laughs> your bejeebers are gone. Sorry, jeebers. Water break. Anybody? Mm -hmm. I'm still good. Yes, please. Roger that. Fly, baby, that was well you, struck. You are welcome. Uh, Get up onto that soup. Well, I mean, it was a birdie putt, but. On the dance floor. Hey, that uh, clubhouse looks vaguely familiar. I remember it being a pretty big clubhouse when yeah, we were here. Can't quite remember, but yeah. I mean, we weren't in it, but. I mean, for more than a second or two, yeah. right? But. Oh, this, is, this puts me in a bind. Okay, we're gonna take way too much club here. My argument is five yards uphill and wind against. Not much wind, but it's there. So if I'm gonna play by that argument, I'm gonna play for a little more, and we will feather. No hero ball here, Bill. No hero Fuck ball. Hero ball. Oh, big pole. No. Settle in there. Uh, not bad. Settle in there. Oh, well That done. was the right call. That is why you don't play hero ball, everybody. That is right there. That is California Brandon. We've harnessed that power all year this year. How are you two under? Fuck my life. And I'm not putting very well at all. I know. Oh, you've got the five strokes I need, but it's on the wrong side. So I'm going to. I know. I know. We haven't even gotten a back nine Brandon yet. I was down three. By the way, Dutch, if you haven't seen that, bud, like I was down three after the first hole. And it wasn't because I played bad, I parred. No, it was down three after two holes. Because Nerby started Eagle Birdie. You can yeah. see it if you rewind or go to YouTube later. When I choked the dog Nerby started that. Eagle Birdie, <laughs> I started par par, and I was instantly down three to him and another one or two to Bill. I Bill, did you birdie, start bird, bird? I birdie par par. Pretty par par. All right, so yeah, I started off in a three-hole shot hole like almost instantly, but except on the third hole, Nerd made triple on the three. 
barely avoided the Jose Cuervo zone. <laughs> strong it didn't break at all though i had a perfectly straight putt and it didn't break so i thought of danky this week or whatever uh, that place out in uh, horace the grove that my sister shout out to my sister kim who works there now um they are doing a next week i think it's a keeper's heart tasting mm -hmm. and they're gonna pour a bunch i passed just because i was like well i've had the one that i thought was pretty good and i've tried one or two others so i'm like yeah i just don't think i'm gonna get enough out of it there you go, Bill. Almost thought about going just for the food. Just because the food at that thing is correct. So it's just like, you know. I mean, two dessert courses? Who doesn't? Shut up. Shut up and take, <laughs> shut up and take my money. It's like you know Brandon. <laughs> mm -hmm. But now that my sister's there, I'm hoping to get like the lead-ins for like when these happen because if they have some good ones. Pass, pass the word? Yeah, we need to go. Again, you get food. The only problem is it's in Horace. So you got to drive home from Horace. That's the sucky part. Nice thing about being in South Moorhead, I'm like halfway to Horace. Because the last time or whatever, the cop came in during the tasting. Ooh. He was talking to them, and then he went out, and sure enough, he got in his car, and he went down to the parking lot on the other end and just sat. And so she knew he was doing that. What a talk to dick. Him, and she was like, all right, you guys have to make sure you don't go south. Find another way out of here. Don't go back south because he could be there. And sure enough, he was. No I, had to, I had to go south. Wow. I had my brother-in-law with. I had to drop him off. Dirty. Yeah, no, no, totally. Like, you know, don't get me wrong. Again, don't drive drunk. Like, that's the lesson, right? The real lesson. But still, you're like, yeah, no, you don't fuck around. Oh, so big push. Horace is big push into the hole for Birdie. Yeah, cheap. Yeah, complain a little more, Burgess. Oh, I, no, I didn't. I felt like it was a push. It was a perfect putt. I just felt like I really launched it. How do, you, how do you get your elbows flying with a putter? I just felt like I, I got myself. So I found this out when I did this putter thing. Again, being real self-conscious with your putter. Yeah. But I found out that my move when I start my putter is actually interesting. Like, I'm in a very upright putter, but then the first thing I do when I start my stroke is actually I drop my hands. I don't feel like I'm doing it, but it happens apparently. He has the data to prove it. He's like, every time you putt, your heel comes down a little bit at the beginning mm. of your putt. Don't know why it happens, just know that it does. Hole one, hole ten, both par fives. Bizu. Is it treats at the turn? Bizu, it's treats at the turn! Oh my gosh, you're the only dog here today. You get a whole roaster. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna tell mom to uh, feed Piper. What? Oh, feed Piper. Yeah. Tell him, tell Piper. Actually, it'd be funny because he's probably not used to that phrase being uttered while he's at home, but it'd be like, tell him it's treats at the turn. <laughs> All right. Go be nice to Bill and Mike. Maybe they'll be nice to you, you bud. Do you know down? Do you know down? I know down. Yeah, there you go. I can do that one. Oh, this is a shitty little Whoa. It's perfect for me. I can just swing away. It is bad news for me. Like, that is... I mean, I still got to hit driver. No that hero ball. Treacherous. No hero ball. Well, I mean, this it's trying to take the driver out of my hand is what it wants to do. Actually, five. I assume we played from the same tees here, didn't we? I don't remember what tees we played from. I can't imagine we signed up for 6,800. Yeah, we played from the whites. No, I'm going to do it. I'm just debating, like, because for me, here's the problem. Like, at 550, even if I hit this perfect, like, I'm going to be so far away that it's like, does this even warrant the risk? It's kind of what's going through my head. But I think I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> Try to take a little off of it. Yeah, that'll be just, just fine. Yep, yep. I try to take a little off. I just try not to swing so hard. Golfshot.com, the, the app, sent me a survey asking about what did, I like to Did use you use Golfshot that day? I did, actually. Did you keep my score, too? I did not. Okay, well, then there you go. That would have been the only hope. You're up, Bill, but that would have been the only hope for me, like, knowing yeah. what I played that day. Because, again, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I know I carded it. Of course yep. I did, but... But I thought you not. were carding rounds around that time, though. I was or was not? I thought you were. 
Well, sure I was. I mean, it would have been June, so no, yeah, I meant like, carding like June. in an app, in an app capacity. I thought you were carding. I don't even app. have it installed anymore, so I don't even know how if I can like go online and recover it somehow. Maybe it's I guess. linked to your account, so it doesn't matter. Like, I just went on my golf shot. It told me I've carded 539 rounds lifetime. Sure, for from golf shot. All right, we do not need to hit pull here. But we don't need to do that! Jesus Christ! Whee! Oh my lord! Oh Dutch, no! And you are, you're gonna wish that was in the hazard so you could go back to the T. Instead, you're gonna have to hit that because you're not in the hazard. Well, I mean, it's still easier if I could punch it out somewhere and then- That get is the through. if. You are not wrong. <laughs> Brutal. Because I don't know if that's going to be brutal. acceptable. I, the only thing I know is that one, it's going to be single rough, so it won't punish me as bad. And just need a window to get close to where you're at. That's going to be fine. Your best drive of the day, Michael. <laughs> way, to go, way to go, King Griffey. <laughs> it was an awkward swing. Yeah, well, your, your, your hold off was awkward, but it was perfect. So At least you're not Bill. Yeah, you're not me. Out in the shite. Well, no, I've been that the last four holes. <laughs> That's true. I mean, let's just be real clear as to why I'm ahead. Yes, I'm three under par through nine holes. That's pretty impressive. But I'm ahead because you two pooped the bed on your drivers and got yourselves into tee shots, I should say, not even drivers. You guys got your tee shots in the spots that got you into trouble. And I haven't done that yet. Yep. That's the difference. Pretty much. Wah, wah. I can cheer you up though. Oh look, it is deep rough. It is deep rough. Well, it's, this is gonna I be- I can always cheer Mike up with a little dovetail. <laughs> yeah. Dovetail's Mike's uh, magic potion. Nom, 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 nom. Sim drop, yeah, no <laughs> kidding, Dutch. <laughs> Are you oh, he wanked, oh, oh, you got- <laughs> <laughs> Well, better lucky than good, as you I don't, always You don't say. hate it. Why would he? We It'd be dumb to. We don't hate it. <laughs> It'd be dumb to hate that. What is it kind of be aiming? It's got you aiming not at the green. It's got you aiming up the meat of the fairway there. Yeah. For the 130. So you see where that white thing is there, Bill? 134 on the thing? That's where you're yeah. aiming at, essentially. So. I mean, Bill knows he can't hit too... 260, yeah, you should have probably, you could have clubbed down and then gave yourself a more realistic yardage. And by the way, that was why uh, Bruce wanted to bag map, right? Because his idea there was, is like, he said, I want my driver to be 250 because when I hit that button to go out, I'd rather see what 250 gives me than 300. I just clubbed down to three wood and get my 250. You know, but, which yeah. is smart, which is yeah. smart. By the way, five o'clock tomorrow, if any of you guys are so entrepreneurial as to, uh, Come over and give him some competition. Otherwise, it'll be another Bruce versus Brandon round, which, by the way, not bad, but we've done a lot of those. Yeah, you have to ask Mama. We're supposed to be doing something for T for his birthday. So unless you want to turn it into a Hot Ones challenge slash birthday party. Well, I mean, we could do the Hot Ones challenge. The only <laughs> problem is the Hot Ones challenge kind of been done. Although, I've got that entire thing of Bruce things in there, so we could do that. Those have been untested. They're either going to be really bad or really good. I can't imagine they're as bad as hot ones, though. I just can't. I mean, I guess it could be, but I just, I doubt it. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, that ain't going to get anywhere near it, but fuck up to safety, I guess. Ooh, that was a bad strike. Well, shit, Sheriff. Yeah, and I'd feel bad doing one of those without Blanford. Blanford's kind of one of the OG Hot Ones guys. The original one. We could yeah. do, we could do a, a miniaturized version. But yeah, if we were going to do something, it'd have to be these, which I still haven't cracked Bruce any of Bruce is here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Bruce won't check any of those because he's- We could big, go to McDonald's he's and a big, just load he's, up on nuggets. I believe the a phrase is he's a big fat loser, but- No. Yep. This would be fun. Yeah, hey, he brought them by and, and left them for the sim, but I just haven't done it yeah, yet. Yeah, 20 bucks worth of nuggets. We'd have like 80 McNuggets around here, and mm -hmm. that'd be fun. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so I figured sometime. I can't imagine these, are, but some of them have pretty what, interesting what names. What time is your, what time is Bruce's appointment? I believe. Steer right. Yeah, good miss. Yeah, that's the, well, that's where I was hoping to be, right there, folks. Like, that was the play. For that was, was the play. For. All right, William. I mean, I was aiming for right side of that green. Yeah. That way, if I pushed it, I could. Same here. Same here, except they hit mine like poop. I actually struck mine pretty well. Yeah, five o'clock. Okay. Is when I think Bruce is planning on being I here. Will, um, I will query the. Uh, well, again, okay. we're going to be doing it no matter what. I right. Again, I would have not allowed him to if I had gotten to my calendar because everything is asunder, but. I will honor it because it was booked. So my plan is to just work hard all day and then no matter where I'm at, just be done at five and take the night off. All right. Well, I will, uh, I will uh, confer with the, uh, the war department and we'll find out if that's something that's uh, doable. Maybe mom wants some quiet time and uh, there you go. The boys would want to come. Maybe she wants to watch us suffer. Probably be more from, because uh, Eli could come, because you think about it, you and me, you and Bruce, and me and Eli in the scramble might actually be fairly competitive if mm -hmm. I put Eli on the uh, the red tees. Uh-huh. Even It'd be unfair, I think, if we put him on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, the super juniors like he was last time, because you, uh, you guys were crushing it. for T being bored since he's the non-golfer, but. Well, and I, that, but, I, that, I would, him with, uh, that would be my worry as well, just due to the fact that like, if you're celebrating his birthday, it feels like you should be doing something he wants to do, not something everybody else wants to do, right? Would be my concern, but. But, that being said, um, he's not my child, so I don't care. <laughs> I, yep. I, I allow choices to happen and I let people make the best choice for themselves. That is, that's uh, democracy right there in action. <laughs> <laughs> Me, on the other hand, like I just mentioned, and we'll mention, just repeat again, right? Like, we're going to be playing at five no matter what. So whether right. or not you two show up or not, whether or not Mike shows up or not, whether or not anybody shows up or not, whether or not Marcus texts me again and says, hey, I'd like to play golf today, and be like, all right, cool. Well, I'm playing at five. Like, whether anybody does or not, doesn't matter. I'm going to be doing it, so. What the hell am I drinking here? 41. The power that is dovetail. Not, hard. Uh, not bad. Just really need a good at that. More. Not bad. Just need a little more. Brandon Monkey. <laughs> ah, I, I'm obviously a fan of the seven iron chip shot. <laughs> just didn't hit her enough. Try to make that move sexy for a lot of years. <laughs> just glad it's catching on. This Provy's seen better days there, Haas. Hmm. Well, if it looks like it's gonna. It doesn't look cracked, but. If it looks the, like it needs to see paradise, then we'll send it there. <laughs> For those of you that are keeping track, yes, I just saw Dune 2. It just broke a lot. I had a pretty good putt there. Sir, they're all here and they don't want to whatever, whatever. Spoiler alerts. Send them to paradise. Lead them to paradise. Yeah! It's like, oh, yeah, all right, all right. It was funny. I, I forgot to mention when we were uh, when you were talking about it. When yeah. I watched the first Dune movie, yep, they didn't advertise it as Dune Part One. It was just Dune. You didn't know it was the first. Okay, because I, I mean, was, I did. I watched the whole movie going. Oh, Jesus! Man, really there's like, a lot they got to wrap up here. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. This no. movie. No, 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 no. And if you missed it too, you missed it in the beginning because it says right in the beginning yeah. it says Dune, and then right underneath yeah. of it, Part One. Yeah, I had missed that. Uh huh. Yeah, I thought the first one was a fine movie, but just like anything else, I oh, nice putt. Just like anything else, though, I I I've never read the books, so just like Marvel movies before this, I got a chance to approach it from like I know nothing. Same. So your job is Danny Villanueva, Villanueva, to uh, lead me to you know you know you get to inform my understanding of what this world is, and uh, that part I thought he did a great job with. I did. But it ends in the middle of nowhere. And so I remember leaving like, yeah, this would be really great when I get to see the second one. But until then, like it's half a movie. Right. And it is, it's half a yep. movie. Yeah, better off 
watching, like, we took Tom to the to part two, but he had not seen part one. Oh, Jesus. So he got to watch part one and then go the very next day to finish yeah. part two. So he didn't yeah. have the two yeah. and a half year wait. <laughs> right. And so now, um, like I said, I, I something about this movie sat with me and I don't know why. So now I'm like, okay, fuck this. I'm actually going to read the book. So now I'm going to read Dune and then I'm going to read Dune Messiah, which is, by the way, the third movie the third they're probably going to make. Yep. Eventually, yeah. It's yeah. going to be a while, though. Yeah, I mean, he has a script, uh, but he, he's already said, like, I might just take a break because he's like, now that we've filmed these back to back, he's like, I spent like six years of my life doing Dune. He's like, I might just want to do something else. For yeah, me. I kind of assumed that it would take a little bit of time. But strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. And your characters aren't ancient. Too hard. Yep. Too hard for that break, Brandon. Um, yeah, I, um, and again, I really like that. Uh, I really like Danny. I really like him as a director. Um, most of the movies he's made, I really like. I'm he did Sicario, fan, right? I'm a big fan of Sicario. Yeah. The first one. The second one's not bad. It's just not great. Did he do the second one? No. Oh, I didn't think no, so. No, he walked the fuck away. Yeah. Um, but cool. Arrival is also him, and I really like Arrival. And if you go back and rewatch Arrival, in a lot of ways, it definitely feels Dune-like. Like those big long shots where you come over and there's these clouds and then there's this thing. But it feels very Dune-like. But mm. I'm a big fan of that movie. I've never read that book, but I'm going to read that book too. Um, that the movie's based on. Yeah, I'm getting text messages. Uh, our poor cap airplane it went down. Uh, I put it down. I was going to go fly last week. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. So we got an estimate to get it fixed. Turns out, not the fix. Mm. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it's like, it's an alternator. It's go, not charging. Go sit. And they're like, oh, it's an alternator control unit. I'm like, okay, that seems weird, but okay. Yeah, we changed your alternator control unit. It's, it's still not charging. So like, it's the yeah. alternator. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. Well, now, do you want a, a rebuilt or a brand new one? The new ones are 2x the cost. Yeah. And we don't have them, so. Yeah. So it's like, it's going to be another week of no airplane. So it's like I'm just watching all my hours uh, fly by if I don't get my <laughs> hours burnt by That's the annoying. end of March. My medication knocked me out for February. Be right. Come on, be right, please. Nope, I airmailed it. Son of a bitch. You muscly son of a bitch. I hit it so pure, though. <laughs> oh, too, no. Too pure, folks. Too much dovetail. Uh, I took one sip of dovetail, and dovetail gives you wings. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, see what I did there? Don't sue me. See what I did there? <laughs> Copyright infringement? I learned that from Ghost Rider. Hey, bitch. God damn. None. Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. And None to be had. Awesome. Oh, I even took a little off of that. And oh, oh, at least we don't have this spot. I'd almost rather be chipping. Fuck, <laughs> fuck my life, Mike. Well, good, good luck with that. that chipping. Good luck with that, brother. Can I chip? <laughs> I think you can. I can, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Holy fuck. Circus pud. So anyways, yes, I'll read Dude Messiah and then uh, see if that holds up. I've, I've been told that it's pretty decent. I've been told that the first four or whatever, and then they get progressively a little worse. And then I've been told that once you read the first six, even if you don't read any further, yes, it ends in a cliffhanger, but they're like, in all honesty, you can just accept that. They're like, his son's a fine writer, but it's like every one of these things they drag on just gets worse and worse. Yeah, if there's like sense 20 me, right? books of this thing and you're creating somebody, a universe. Yeah, somebody equivocated it to, and by the way, I've never read these, but it makes sense in my head. Somebody equivocates it to Star Wars. Yeah, I read a lot of Where they're Star like, Wars. there's all this ancillary off-world shit that goes on from a million other people who are like filling out the universe with all these stories that ultimately don't matter to the centralized story. Right. And it's like, that's fine, but like, you only indulge that if you're really like smitten, right? I read a lot of those when I was younger, the the Star Wars universe stories, you know, the Take stories that about and Thrawn and yeah, there were yeah, some I'm really right. good storylines there. So it's like, I can appreciate that. Yeah. But it's nice to know that you're not missing anything if you don't. Luke and Fluke? Yeah. 
Isn't that one of them? I've never read any of these. I don't remember. Isn't there one where there's a lot of clones of Luke Skywalker and one of them's called Fluke? I don't, I don't I know. I believe I'm right about this, by Should the way. Be. I'm pretty sure. Check and check me on this. I'm pretty sure I'm right, even though I've never read any of these, but I thought I heard of it. What? Whoa, what happened there? Uh, oh, that's a misread. Okay, good. So it gave you a 0 0.8 degree launch, which you and me both know. I, no. hit, <laughs> I yeah, hit that Yeah, thing yeah, perfect. that's what I'm saying, it's a misread. Yeah, so. I was like, uh. Yep, no, take another. I, I mean, in the game's defense, if you did hit it 0 0.8, that's what would have happened. Sure, <laughs> but I mean, that was one of the better chips I hit. I thought that was gonna be Yeah, no, 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 the launch monitor, don't lie. That was a misread. Yeah. I do not have high confidence mode on right now. I could turn it on, but I'm not going to. There you go. Negative 1.6. What? I mean, what the hell is this thing doing? Shiny club. Is that what is happening? I don't know. I'm speculating. It's not 888-222, though, so. Yeah. Mm. Well, and that's the one other thing that I don't get, because he's got 6.9 up. Well, yeah, well, sure. The, but negative 1.6. Yeah, it's like like not but the I mean, game's problem. That, that, that's the game. The game doesn't matter. The yeah. launch monitor is saying he's smashing it into the ground right now, which he's not doing. So. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh nice. I had to hit it a little harder just to kind of get away from that. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, you remember the <sighs> struggles I went through before yeah. Vader Wedge. Yeah. Although, again, none of yours were that, though. Right. Because. Um, you didn't get any 8822 action. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know what went wrong with those two. Just that the unicorn no, didn't like but it. But I also know that. But I mean, look at how shiny that yeah. is. Yeah. So I mean, I learned that the hard way. Ten degrees, ten yards. I gotta spray paint my wedges or what? There you go. <laughs> Rough. I'm sure that won't look ghetto as fuck chrome. at all. <laughs> What? No, that, it was fine, I guess. It's just, it was weird. Um, basically what it said was I hit it short and I hit some weird thing on the fringe and then it rolled out. So yeah, oh, strange, <laughs> weird. I guess I'll take it, but strange, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Capitalizes. I just made On par to the avoid uh, trouble. Up and down. I'm happy with it. I didn't know if you cult the herd or if you were just playing with a handful fewer balls. <laughs> No, I'm not, actually. I just think there's a bunch underneath the screen. I see one hiding over there. I just think there's well, a bunch hiding underneath. Well, he was on his meeting, and I went to go pick up the balls, and there was still only a few. Mm. Yeah. There must have been a few more hiding, because I didn't see the yellow one. I mean, I could put another sleeve in, I think. The only reason why I didn't the other week was because, I mean, my target audience. It was Eli and Marcus and Bruce. Those are not the oh, three I want a lot of golf balls laying around shit. with. shit. Because um, again, there's only two ways you screw up and hit the unicorn. One is you either top it or, or, or crown it so badly it goes straight up in the air. And the other way is you hit another ball and that ball gets sent somewhere you don't expect. Mm -hmm. So it's the reason why I fully support like people like the clubhouse only having one ball available and you just chase that ball all day. Yeah, that's the better way like, to go. Bring your own ball, no balls. And then yeah. every after you're done hitting, you pick it up and go back to your seat. Yep, because they know, like, all right, well, you're not going to make that mistake. Where are the yeah. other ones? I don't think there's that, as many hiding. It feels like... Oh, I suspect that they're hiding up in here. Oh, God. I know Marcus put one up there last week, so... Yeah, there's a few uh, dro droopy spots over there. Not that one. Shout out to Bruce for donating a bunch of Callaways, though. That was very uh, nice of you, brother. Yeah, the Sims hard on balls. Like, I, well, I mean, they get a lot more play than everybody else's do, so. Yeah, they don't get. There we go. They don't find their happy place out in the uh, wilderness or pond. Three new soldiers. Yeah, I mean, when the season's on, sometimes I'll come in here and I'll scare a couple out. Because then it's like, well, I know that if I take them out to MCC, they don't have more than what? Probably two rounds in them before I'm going to lose them somewhere. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Marcus lost one back there behind containment I never mm -hmm. found, so I know it's back there somewhere. I just got you. I have no idea where it went. Not a lot of work. Look I don't think that's you, where you were aiming there, Bob. You narrowy bastard. You'll take it. What in the hell did you do there? I wasn't paying enough attention. Get in that soup! Oh, wah, wah. Yeah. What did, oh, really? You thought that, really? That's not what he was aiming for, let's be oh. clear. I went off the toe. Yeah, when well, you hit it off the toe, weak. I was going to ask you why you didn't drive for the green until I realized, oh, I got all duh. There, yeah. I don't really remember this hole, Bill, yeah. that much. I definitely laid up, obviously. I just don't really remember what I did. I'm sure I took driver because I don't have uh, end of the fairway <laughs> length of me, or I definitely didn't last year. I mean, I imagine because, I mean, like, just guessing, right? Like, what... Trying to think like Brandon did a year ago, and Brandon a year ago probably hit a hybrid here or an iron. And the reason why is because if I've never seen a golf course before, I'm usually very conservative. Um, today, obviously, I have perfect yardage on an overhead view, so I could be a lot more gambling about what I want to do here. But yeah, I probably laid up with a hybrid or a four iron, I suspect. Sit. Just sit for me. Just sit for me. Oh, Jesus, don't sit. Get out of that. Oh, I can go fuck myself. Wow. If that's as bad as it looks, I'm going to pay a price for that. That, frankly, is a little maybe borderline unfair. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, if that's up against that lip, Bill, I'm going to have to wedge out. I'm going to have to luck, luck box that I get out of the wedge. Yeah, uh, we'll see. That might be bad. Guess that's what I get for taking something off that three wood, though. I didn't want to hit it all. I figured I'd go through. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, oh God. God. I got it through all the way to the other side. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> inner OB. So in other words, they're not even going to give you the option. I'll hit the button for you because it's the only one you yep, get. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you e fucking gas. Jackass. The one miss you couldn't make. <clears throat> Did it again, but that time you had the club wet, wide open. Yeah. The face, anyways. Pulling out of that swing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sure it's still me. Minnesota National, by the way, is starting to show its teeth a little bit. Bill, Bill hit like this shot like a donkey shit. dick. Mike's fine, even though his rolled into the rough, which was a bit unfair, and I am up against wow. the lip in the bunker. Look at the slope. Oh, what the fuck did you do there, Bill? Ouch. No ouch. One inviolable rule. I mean, it's more ouch the the pain of that swing <laughs> than uh, actually hurting myself. And four point six now. So you've seen Dune two then? You've seen it? Mm -hmm. I've seen both. Yeah. So without giving away any spoilers for both the internet and for Mike, who might be interested in seeing this movie at some point, what I thought was hilarious is how many um, I will say the word actresses make an appearance barely for no other reason than. Yeah, get me in here because if they do green light this third one, then I'm gonna get a part. That and was well. They I, it's I watched an interview with uh, like Denis, and he, he had talked about that where he's like he wanted some really good people in there. He's yeah. like, but there's not a lot for you in this movie. Right. But when we go to the third, you'll have a much bigger well, part. Yeah, so like, like, but um, I gotta bring you in now for this. It's like Zendaya piece. from the first movie. Yeah, she had what, that, three minutes of screen time. Yeah, and, and she's in, no and most of it's flashbacks, so yep. she's just standing there. Yep. But it's like, yeah, no, 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 you'll have more to do. So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's KGM Canada in the chat. Howdy doody. Nice to see you, KGM. We are. Oh, get up there. We get are at there. Minnesota National there. today. A brand new course. Nice shot, Mike. A brand new course that was just added, no kidding, like a day or two ago. Oh, this sucks so violently. Yeah, you're kind of. Ooh, I mean, post. like the only good news is, is that at this yardage, I have to hit a wedge anyway. So the only hope is the nine degrees up, up and the wedge I have to hit are going to be enough. I think you're worried yeah. about the seven degrees left. I don't think you played enough for seven. Because if you pull plus seven, you're bone town. Yeah, I'm just worried about the up. I'm worried yeah. about hitting this ridge and coming straight Yeah, back. yeah, no, for sure. I think the wedge will save you, though. I don't think that's going to be as big of a deal. 
but we're gonna find out, I guess. Yeah. Golly. All right, let's see, I guess. I got out okay. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Get up there. Yeah, I'm short because, uh, well, no, I'm short because I'm short. Okay, so that's fine. So I did not hit that good enough. No, but you got enough air oh, yeah. to get not hit that I am, at least. I am very pleased with that outcome, <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. That could have been catastrophically bad. Yes. Whoa! It does not like this nope. wedge. Nope, nope. Shiny wedge. Shiny wedge. Way to go, shiny wedge. When, when did, like, I've already played, like, several rounds with this wedge. I don't understand what's happening here. I didn't know. <laughs> you think? He's changing the angle. I gotta just, like, hammer it, which I don't want to do. So then I'm, like, stuck putting. So I think what ends up happening is that when you go ahead and hit that wedge, you're opening it up a little further so it gets the shininess of the wedge. So this part gets dark, shinier? Yeah, this part gets shinier as you open it up uh, just a little bit to try and like, you know, go shorter. So yeah, like kind of like Brandon's big wide open wedge. Which exactly. is my wide open. Which I mean, by the way, when I had that other wedge, that's exactly where my problem lied. My problem lied in when I was opening it up. It, it didn't so much happen when I swung a pole, like, you mm -hmm. know, when I'm hitting it 70, yeah, yeah. 80, 90 yards away. It was when I tried to hit that little fucking flop shot. You know? Yeah. That is when it used to get me. Yeah. I don't know if Mike's right or I not. I need you I mean, to buy the IXO2, please. <laughs> well, that's not going to help. The it IXO2 make makes it wider. That's the only fucking thing it does. It does nothing else. That's the reason why I don't own one, because right. it makes it wider. Now, where, where's wider good? Wider's great if we were in the old sim and at a lefty, because then instead of us all cowering by that one area, it allows you to be wide enough that somebody could be left-handed on that little thing and hit here, and we could hit it here, right? Because it's wider. Mm. Yeah. So it's good for that. But otherwise, you don't get any increased accuracy with the extra camera. The extra camera is just to make it wider. Mm. So, yep. Which is disappointing, but I get it. Like, because so when it came out, I thought too. was, was like, oh, maybe I should consider spending a ton of money in upgrading yeah. until I realized like, oh, we don't get anything out of it. Yeah. Now, on the other hand, Unicor also sells this trouble mat, right? And with the IXO2, you could leave, like when we're righties, we could leave the trouble mat here. And then we could be like, hey, if you're in the rough, you gotta hit over here. And now we can hit over here because again, it's wider. Yeah. So that I would consider. But what stops me from considering it, by the way, shout at me GF, GS Pro, what stops me from considering it is that you um, have no support for that right now in GS Pro. And GS Pro is binary. You either say, I'm going to turn on penalties for deep rough, or I'm going to turn them off entirely and leave it up to you. Ah. And off entirely up to you with that little trouble mat ain't good enough. So instead, there needs to be a sliding scale. There needs to be something that says, give me some of the penalty, but then let the rest of the penalty lie in me being in the sand trouble mat here, and I have yeah. to hit it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because I do like the idea of simulating the feel of that shot. It'll make you a better golfer, right? Yeah. But I can't hit deep rough out of this. Like, that's not okay. Yeah. Like, I need deep rough in here to be as penal as it is, right? I said penal. You laughed, Mike. I heard it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll get a gimme out of it, but... <laughs> so, yeah. So, so yeah, GS Pro, what I want is I want a either a slider or I want a middle ground where you can say, give me... 50% of the penalty in software, and the other 50% I will enforce by putting a trouble mat here and making you hit it out of a rough lie when you're in the rough or a sand lie when you're in the sand. Mm. Where the ball is gonna sit down a little bit more. Because again, if you're hitting a sand shot, I want you to have to open that face up and hit that high shot. Mm -hmm. The sand, sand trouble mat will make you do it. Otherwise, you're gonna hit a line drive and that ain't gonna render very well. Oh! oh. Nice effort. I hit a little too hard. So. But yes, Bill, if that was there, then I would consider upgrading yep. to the to the IXO2 and getting myself a trouble mat. But you know how much they want for that mat? It's a mat. It's just a little tiny square mat. It's only a couple of feet wide. Yeah, I right? know. I've seen it. It's just right. by this. You know how much bucks? they want for it? Three, four hundred bucks. Keep going. Eight? Yep. Woo! Eight hundred dollars. And the mat is Woo! tiny. Woo! Woo! 
$7.99, I think, Ooh. is what they want for it. Eat All right, Ed Nerby, you are up. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That seems redonk. You're not wrong. Considering how much Matt... Like, Agreed. ...that you get. Agreed. Like, I priced out the most expensive one that they made, and it wasn't even eight. <sighs> I don't disagree. We have about 11 feet wide. Uh, 11 to 12 feet where I could put one up where I'm thinking in my garage. Width-wise. And it's not up against the garage door. I, I want to go side saddle. So where the arms come in, we would start from there and then go to my heater up against it. So we, we would be playing like across. So what wall would the screen be on? I assume still on a wall? It'd be on a wall, yeah. Which wall, though? It, what, or facing which direction? So imagine looking I've been at in your house. house. The three-stall garage, it would be on that, East. that wall. East. Yep. yep. Okay. The east wall facing. Okay, in my head, then that makes sense. Yep. Sure. Yeah, so in the three-stall garage, instead of playing at the garage door, we'd be playing along that wall, yep. that big, long wall there. Yeah, I tried to do that in my tiny garage with the first sim. In fact, the very first video I have of it is me in that orientation. What ultimately ended up stopping me oh, from nice doing thing. it was I had that back door. Yep. That basically became, oh, wow. Woo, better lucky than good. Stream has been lagging, huh? Yeah, I see we're down in the red, by the Ooh. way, Dutch. So you're not wrong, bud. I think my internet router should have had to be rebooted. I knew better, um, buddy, because um, Mike knows this. Um, I was trying to take a Stream Deck update today, and it was 170 megabytes to download, and I gave up after an hour. So I think my Wi-Fi, I mean, needs to be rebooted. I was having trouble with my ISP, and I have Midco, and I love them, but they just kept dropping all the time, and it was just getting frustrating. And so I called them and asked them, and they're like, well, we don't see any problems, but, and I've never heard this before, they're like, you should reboot it every month or so to resync the router and your, in the modem. Which sounds like Stay uh, water. a Randall is just- Stay out of the water. Just, uh, Stay out of the water. Oh yeah, you're fine. All right, we'll take it. Um, it's not like a randalism, yeah. but you know what? I'm going to do it so I can just put you off in case this is continuing. Well, and again, I mean, I, although I know we're choppy here, Dutch, so thanks for letting me know, by the way. By the way, never fear letting me know because it's important. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I've been saying it on stream now for months, all season two, right? Like, I need to get that hard wire in here because um, that'll solve all those problems overnight. <laughs> Hey, bitch, where are you going? There ain't nothing good over there. Yeah, Let's unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to fix it now. That's the sucky part. I'll take it. But anyway, I, I did reboot my router, all my Eros, and my modem. Ooh. And surprisingly, it fixed my problems. You're all by me. Nice. What was that? Yeah. What'd you take? I Did took you? driver and doing? hit it like shit. Uh. I decided to chance it thinking to myself, like, you know what? I can try to pound it up the throat because it was such a short par five. And obviously I didn't do a good job of that, but oh well. Oh, that was thin. Oh God, what are you going right for? Oh no, Bill, stay. Yeah. Oh, Drop zone. What the fuck? Is that's that? where you are right here. I don't know if that's good or bad for you. I would check those options, but. What? What the fuck? That's Rehit not... re -hit or drop zone. You that's don't get, bullshit. Like, you don't what get the a, fuck? You do not get a... Well, I don't think that drop zone is really going to hurt you, though. This is about where you went in, right? But why don't I get lateral? I went in way the fuck up there. How is this a fucking drop zone? I do not know. That's <laughs> fucked. It's like, be a penalty. I literally hit and rolled in. I should be up there with a fucking club length. Fuck off. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Does, does the course designer know how fucking golf courses work? I don't know if I bullshit. blame, I don't know if I honestly blame the course designer. And the reason why is because, frankly, when I look at these overheads and I see those red lines, I don't understand how the course designer has really anything to do with that, right? Like, if you're, and again, I don't know this because I've never designed a course specifically for GS Pro. But if I'm in GS Pro and I'm saying, all right, this is going to be, I'm clicking around and I'm creating my hazard line, right? I don't know why there's even an option. Right? I mean, it's the same thing we've gotten into trouble with arguing online about like collision physics and all these other things. Like some of that shit should just be automatic. If you trace that thing, then it should just be that way. Right. Right? 
And now I assume if you're a course designer, if you say, oh, you know what, left. I'm going to be nice. Get left. Get and left. I'm going to add a drop zone, which by the way, thank you course designer for adding a drop zone, right? Like, that's great. But again, if I add that, it shouldn't be my responsibility to also have to plan all that other shit. Like it should just be extra, right? right. Like, so I'm with you essentially is what I'm saying that like, I don't understand why the course designer, if the course designer's on the hook for that, that's flawed. It's a flawed design system, right? Yeah. I just don't understand why every other fucking circled thing has given us lateral flag line. Like, where's my flag line option? Like, I should, I could be over there, but it's like drawn in such a dumbass way that flag line takes me into more penalty. Well, I don't think it's drawn in a dumbass way. I would argue no, that the flag but, line's just like, like well, flag no, line no, for no, you no. there. I'm talking about this red line hazardy area back behind it, right? So it's like, Right, but I mean, assuming you went in here, where's your flag line drop from here? And the answer is it's, it's all the way back here. Right, exactly. But because that, because of the way he drew the hazard, which is with the dumb hazard line, right? Why does that coming off? Why can't I go to the right there? Because it's another hole and I drew it that way is the answer, but it shouldn't be. You're talking about the other side? Yeah, like look at that internal one, right? Like, I'm still curious what happens. We haven't done it yet, right? But what happens when you land I assume you're fine. in this little gap here? I you, assume you're I assume you're fine. You get I assume the same thing. Yeah. But because he's got so many of these weird hazard inside a hazard is causing this problem here, and I think he just went a little too zealous with it. God, that's fucking awful. Off to Brandon. Off to. Like, I don't understand why that's not just deep rough like every other fucking GS Pro course we play out here. What, what are you talking about now? I'm sorry. Like, all this stuff up here to the right. Like, well, but even if that was deep rough, I'm not shocked that that didn't save you. You were no, 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 low. no, no, no. But well, that's what I'm saying. It's like he has purposely drawn all this shit out and put. A hazard and well, again, I don't think the hazard. drawing was his problem. I don't think I don't think any of us are debating you went into a hazard. No. I think the question is why isn't it that if you draw a hazard, you don't get all the hazard options? Right. And like I said, my theory, even though I've never designed a course, is that the golf course designer has to do something to make yep. that happen, which I think is the flaw in the system. My argument is if you draw out of bounds or if you draw a hazard, it should be treated as such. Jesus! <laughs> Muscles! <laughs> Now I'll go one step further. I'll go one step further and grant that there is a difference between a red staked hazard no. and a yellow staked hazard. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I will also grant the premise that I've never seen a yellow line in GS Pro. So if there is a difference in there, GS Pro does not enumerate it. Sure. Here's my argument. My argument is, fuck you, build your software better and do it. Yep. Because I would rather see yellow lines and red lines. Yeah. And just be good with that. Instead of seeing red lines and going, I can't tell you, I'm going to leave the course designer to give you the option on whether that's yellow or red. But and you, then you get but into that, all this but ambiguity. You know it right. until you're in it. Well, not only can you not know it, but at right. the same time, then you put an onus on the course designer that frankly shouldn't be his fucking problem, right? right? Like again, I only designed TGC 2019 courses. That's all I have to go on. But I can tell you when I did those, you drew out of bounds and you drew hazards and the game dealt with the rest. Like you were never picking and choosing that shit. Yep. Um, whereas again, in here, I don't know it to be true, but I get the impression that that's what they have to do. Right. Because we've seen too many times where we're going straight through trees and we've had these weird hazards and you're like, why doesn't that just work the way we think it should? Right. That's like some courses do an okay job and then some don't. So it's like, what is the developer of that course missing that maybe like, right. like Pac-Man and <coughs> well, again, and you can make them, and again, you could make understand them, better than maybe right. some And again, that. you can make them do it, but that feels again like a flawed system. Sure. It feels no. like take that out of their hands and just do it for them. Let's right. say, say otherwise. Right. Like, no, I, I agree. And again, I don't know. I feel like I need to design a golf course in here just so I understand more of how it works. Because again, I understand a lot how TGC works because I did two courses. Ah, go. Ah, a little short again. Shoot. Okay. All right, I'll make it work. 
Yep. Yeah, I need to just, yeah, I need to find time. Yeah, good, good luck. Yeah. Oh, I need to, <laughs> I need to, I need to clone myself multiplicity style, mm. style so I have two or three people doing my job so I can spend time designing MCC and GS Pro, which is the course I'd like to do. So, apologies that we're still breaking up. Touch. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I could blame Cable One, but in all honesty, I don't blame Cable One. I blame the fact that, like, I just need to reboot everything again. And blame the fact that, again, I haven't had time to hardwire everything, which would, of course, solve the problem. I took one extra club and uh, went easy and uh, solved Screw the problem. Screw it, let's drink fungus. Yay! Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yay again, because this is one of my faves. <laughs> I like my Japanese fungus. There's uh, a fungus among us, Speedo. I get emails all the time, but GitHub is hiring a senior software engineer to work with uh, Xcode, or no, it's uh, Microsoft. They're looking for an engineer to hire that can work for Copilot in... Uh, Good luck, you're gonna need a lot of help from Apple. I know. <laughs> But I wondered if that's part of what, what's actually happening, even though it doesn't... Mm, oh, I gotta hit it! But I'm wondering if that's part I of mean, what's coming. I mean, I would welcome that for, right. for the team there, but I mean, I'll believe it when I see it. I feel like Apple is gonna add Siri to Xcode and they're gonna do it without adding anything for third-party developers. Well, you heard so they the, that themselves. they're in talks right now to use uh, Gemini from Google. Well, sure, but I mean, regardless of what they use, it's gonna be Apple's branded whatever, which again, fine, but it's like, one, are you gonna charge for it? And two, I just have a hard time believing anything they use is gonna be as good as Copilot just because Copilot has access to all of GitHub. It's a lot of information, right? Well, everything has access to public repos in GitHub. Right, but get but but Copilot has access to private stuff too. Sure. So you just you have to endorse it. Oh yeah! Oh, Thank you, it. Frank. That was a pretty good putt there, Bob. Yeah, it was. I just needed a little whatever. Mine keeps the box. I've stalled. I've stalled. I was three hundred at the turn and. Four holes later, I'm still 300. I have not been able to make any hay. I'm still better than I was in real life, but uh, not my finest considering I started one under. Back nine Brandon has stayed back nine. Not back nine Brandon, really. Um, rope, rope. Yeah. Oh, it's because it's got you pointed down the middle of the fairway into the, the tall corn. Hello, dear viewers, too, by the way. Sorry again if we're breaking up a little bit. My internet has been a pile of garbage and looking at the numbers, still a pile you, of uh, garbage. Have you considered looking into uh, 701 communications for your internet needs? There's nobody I would get other than Cable One. That sounds awful. It's because of the setup in my house here. Oh. Anybody, I looked at Midco on the day one I moved in here, but I can't do it without chiseling up my sidewalk, which I refuse to do, so. What? They can't bring it to the house. What? My entire house is surrounded. What? Can't do it. What? So yeah, if I'm willing to chisel up my sidewalk and redo the sidewalk again, then yeah, I can have anybody in town, I'm sure. But Cable One was already there and underneath the sidewalk before they poured all the concrete, so they are my preferred vendor. And again, Cable One's not the fault here. Sure. So I'm not worried about that. If I had this thing hardwired, would we have these problems? No, so it's not Cable One's problem, it's me. Maybe coming soon to season three, folks. Brandon will keep his promises. Hardwired Ethernet. Brandon will keep his promises and actually try to, you know, get that problem done. Because I've been complaining about it forever. You went for this green, you muscly bastard? Yes, I was. <laughs> I'm I mean, going for this green. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need that car path, but I'm going for it. <laughs> I, not only am I going to, but I don't feel like I need this whole club to get there. So, yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to catch a 240 and then get yeah. 30 yards of car path. I left out so wide open, it wasn't even funny. <laughs> Shit. Join Michael in the... <laughs> seems, seems legit. Hello again, dear I love people. Black. Hey, well, at least we're green temporarily. <laughs> Even if it won't stick around. Yep, now, because now we're dropping frames. We're back Blech. into the red. Sorry. Blech. Blech. That's all right. I mean, if you're going to drop frames, drop it on around where I'm seven over. Ha! 
That's that's why I'm playing so bad. All these drop frames. <laughs> I really wanted to say something, but I didn't want to fuck Mike's back. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Mike's back suite was fucked all by its loans. Mike was 300 through two. Yeah, what a shithead. Yeah, wait, I was one under after. What is the opposite of back nine, Brandon? <laughs> Swing went to mediocre, swing. Mike. Uh, <laughs> not even. Um, dumpster fire. Dumpster fire. I used to have that meme. I used to have that on the control. I board. miss the memes. I know. Most of them are still like quasi somewhat there too. They just don't really work. I just have to reconnect them. So. We've been following the uh, latest with the. Uh, oh, oh, oh! With, nice. With the royal families. Jesus, no. What am I? Oh, what am I, oh, British? I don't know. Like, I'm not British. There's just a I bunch care? of weird shit going on. Are you talking pretty... about the fact that she hasn't been seen in public since some surgery thing? Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently, yeah, she just, they less. just announced that she's uh, got cancer. Oh. And that's why she's been MIA and missing. She's, uh... So, yeah. I'm of two minds about that. Like, yeah. one. That's one. Cool. Why don't you guys give some people some fucking privacy? And two, you know what? At the same time, you don't get to expect privacy when you're living off the charity of the people of your country because you're some relic of a bygone era that apparently is just born in the right family and gets to have money for free for the rest of your lives. So, I don't know. I'm of two minds. Ah! Damn! Muscles! Perfect putt, too. But just, primarily, I'm I mean, up. how are you supposed to play? It's like two feet uphill on a 40-foot putt. I'm playing like a 60-footer. You're still up there, hustle oh, yeah, million, that's, that's for the setting that you made me turn on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm, uh, again, but I'm of the third mind, the third mind being that as an American, I don't think of a fuck about the royal families of Britain, Spain, Sweden, Finland, Australia, the list continues. Although I guess Australia doesn't have a royal family. They do. Which, Australia? I don't think so. They, Australia's royal family is the British royal family because right. they were a yeah, colony. They're part of the Commonwealth. Right. But I mean, like, you know, they don't have nice, a separate one. It's the nice thing about being American is I don't have to care about it. Japan of that still has the uh, the emperor, don't they? Don't they still uh, have? Probably. I don't that? know. I, I don't think they, they're much like the British. That's I'm a fan of that in. saying that is like democracy is the worst for is the um, is the is the worst form of government. Except for all the other except ones. Except for everything else. Yeah, exactly. So. We're they're about not, ready to prove that true because we're getting wrong. ready to elect a guy who is being charged in I can't wait until he gets the government to pay off all of his debts. That was Pulled poor. The shit out of that. That was really poor. And yeah, two degrees. Like, yep. I saw that fly out the side. Yup. Poor. And your box. Been a theme today. Yeah, I've done nothing since the turn. Like, literally, I've just parred you guys to death. Oh my lord. I don't remember this whole, but sure. Titan. I'm sure in real life, I'm Titan. sure in real life I'd have did this, right? And yep. I'd have hit some left. layup and just been done with it. Oh bother. I think I'm Oh bother. I think I'll do this. One of these. You've been pretty quiet today, bud. Been a good doggo. Yeah, not Didn't bad. even know you were here most of today. <laughs> I know, real bored until somebody else shows up, and then you can go be bored with somebody else, I guess. I'll eat your face. <laughs> ka -chow. Ooh, Look at that. That yeah, should be fine. That pretty. should be fine. Pretty. In this case, be in the window, baby. That's what it's all about. Be in the window. To the I window. Am. To the I wall. Am. Oh, really? That's <laughs> what we're doing? Until <laughs> sweat comes down some part of you? Yes. Okay. All right, well, it's, you know, fair. Sweaty Thanks for cracks. Play. Thanks for playing, kids. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Now what? shirts here. <laughs> what now? Because you don't want to like... Are you embarrassed about us, Mike? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Alright, Blanford's a bitch. Blanford's I, going into practice here. Oh, Blanford! Thank you, Blanford. Oh, not Blanton's, Blanford. I, I don't want to... Uh, yeah. 
a little bland foe. Work doesn't need to know. <laughs> work doesn't need to know. <laughs> Just don't name drop work and then disclaimer, the opinions of Frostbite Golf are not of... Um, Should I just put that down on the bottom of the screen permanently? Yeah. yeah. It's expressed here. Do not, are not representative of Frostbite yeah. uh, <laughs> Golfers and their employers. How oh, about that? <laughs> Unless you're Brandon, in which case they are all his own. Please stay out of that. They're part. all the opinions of his company, yes. which we will not mention here. <laughs> Uh, but it's kind of. Just got used to it. <laughs> hey, I'm still a, I'm still a fa I'm still in favor of the fact that my favorite thing they pulled out of my Twitter history back in that time when I was running for office. Oh, well, not in hazard was that one quote that I, and I didn't even make it. This was not even my quote. I just liked the damn tweet. It was during a Steelers game and Bontez Perfect, uh, a linebacker with a history of being suspended by the NFL for dirty hits, just clobbered our wide receiver and knocked him out with a concussion. He would be out for the next two games because they hit him right in the head coming over the middle. Oh. Somebody else, somebody else wrote it. I didn't write it, but I hit the like button next to it because I thought it was so funny. Um, and the phrase was, "If I had, if I had, um, if Vontez Perfect and Adolf Hitler were standing here, and I had two bullets, I'd shoot Vontez Perfect twice." <laughs> and obviously, I didn't know Hitler, Jesus Christ. I was born like 45 years after he was dead, but. I did think it was funny, so I hit the like button next to it. <laughs> and that found its way into a political ad yeah, on my um, you opponent's You can't line. like anything with that, uh, yep. that, that, that but name. You know what's funny about that, though? In reality, if you think about it, though, I probably ran for office about four to five years too soon because nowadays the guy running for president says far worse shit than that, yeah. and no one cares. Yeah, so, you could probably you, know, you could probably lean in on it. It's like our, you're goddamn right, and then I'd scrounge in the cushions and find more bullets. Yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> My opponent's talking about that. Maybe he likes Hitler. I don't know. I I've think heard people say on crime. I've heard people say it. I'm not saying it, but I've heard other people say it. <laughs> You're so bad. I'll take yeah, it'd be very different. Um, yeah. And I mean, even our current president, not to turn this into a political podcast here, but like even our current president, Joe Biden, right? Like when he ran against Barack Obama, he said Barack Obama was a very clean, clean guy. But. <laughs> which everyone construed into some racial thing, and that was enough to make him drop out. That quote. Right. Yeah. And remember the, now how remember the days later, of the October surprise? You just say one dumb gaffe or yeah. you wear one stupid tank helmet and you're out? And the world is, you know, Michael Dukakis, yeah. the world is very That's different planet. now. Yeah. It is a very different planet we right. live in. Yeah. Spell fucking potatoes wrong. You're screwed. Dan Quayle. I get all these references. Yeah, I know. I know you do. All right. 135. <laughs> one more. You get one, um, you get one assistant pregnant and pay for her abortion. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come on. You got this one? Assistant pregnant pay for her abortion? I don't know abortion? if she was an assistant or just uh, somewhere close by. But, uh, oh, God, really? Yeah. This one might elude me. Oh. Uh, John Edwards. Oh, yes. No, she was his photographer. Okay. Some, some, yep. some type of uh, yep. paid position under yep. Ling. God, I like John Edwards, though. Yeah. Oh, gosh. And I'm just, I'm not saying, like, I liked him personally. I never knew the guy, right? But, like, his, uh, his stance on poverty was actually amazing. And a scumbag of a human being. <laughs> Fucking politics, people. Oh, I hit that good go. To quote Danny DeVito from, like, season two or three of, uh, of uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's politics, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> Danny DeVito. You yep. see that? Mo I didn't watch the Oscars because I can't watch Hollywood filet itself, no matter how liberal I am. Yeah. But what I can say is, did you see there was a moment? A bit with uh, Schwarzenegger? Yeah. Yeah. I Pretty thought they were going to go a twins bit, but they went Batman. They went Batman. So yeah. No, I thought twins too. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. I'm I was like, like oh. that's right. This isn't your first movie you did together. I like how sort Michael of. Keaton played along. <laughs> so good. I don't think he knew it was coming, though, so he was just like, yeah. I'll just do the thing. Yeah, I'll be spontaneous with it. Very funny. 
I haven't seen it yet, but I saw there was a uh, a teaser trailer for the new Beetlejuice remake just dropped. I yesterday. saw that too, but I didn't watch. I didn't watch it. I'm yet. not gonna go see it anyways because I think. No, Mike. I think my record is very clear on this. My record is clear on the fact that like make new things. Right. And yes, I realize ladies and gentlemen of the internet, that that might seem hypocritical when I've just been waxing poetic about how great I think the Dune movies are, and they already made Dune. But you know what? They made Dune a long time ago. Like a long, long 84. time ago. Yeah. Like that's 40 fucking years. Yeah. So uh, I'll give you a pass if you want to remake something And it something wasn't done very well, years old. I buy that. Yes. Beetlejuice won pretty good. Was, is the do Beetlejuice a remake? Beetlejuice was really good. Yeah. Tim Burton's kind of a crazy fucker. Yeah, Michael Keaton's a stud too, by the way. Yes. Ooh! Spotlight! Yeah, no, he's, I like Michael Keaton a lot. I think Michael Keaton always gets a bad rap. Yeah. And yes, he's very old now, but you know what, hey. Hey, man, did you happen to see Founder? Yes, I did. God, that makes me hate McDonald's a little bit. <laughs> like, yeah, you That movie, wrong. like, I was watching it, thinking I was gonna, like, find this cool Ray Kroc origin story, and it starts out great. Because I don't know anything, right? You're right. like, look at this hustling so you motherfucker. You don't know what's about to come. <laughs> yeah. What a hustling ass motherfucker. This is great. Yep. And then, yeah, not oh, so much. Oh, you did Bill Offerman dirty. Or Nick Offerman. <laughs> I hit it too hard again. Oh, Hang on. you muscly son of a bitch. Yeah, I pulled the shit out of it, though, too. Oh, God. Yes, no, he did Offerman dirty. Yep. I still haven't read that book either. I have his book, Offerman's book. But I, I have his it book, his first one at yeah. least. Yeah. The one where he's in, like the, the canoe or the paddle or whatever. I just haven't read it yet. Yeah. I got a lot of books I haven't read. Yeah. It, I've been, unfortunately, my uh, YouTube feed, I've been wa accidentally watching too many um, Ron Swanson. Uh, I bought the whole series <laughs> of Parks and Rec. You need to. I you can't stream it anywhere. I bought it. I own it all now. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I was going to rewatch it with the missus. Can't watch it anywhere. Yeah, no, Offerman is, he just owns Ron yeah. Swanson. It's so great. I like that speed, and I didn't play enough break. Damn it. Double. Man, I am just a My, turd. All right, favorite Ron Swanson moment. For me, it's probably when he goes to that hearing where he's deposed and has to answer questions. And he says beforehand, he's like, you know, talking to the camera, and he's like, I'm going to... I'm gonna do what I always do, which is I'm gonna answer every question Push it with another with question. Another question. <laughs> it's like, very good. Was that a? I can't remember how the questioning goes though. It's something like, did you know that this was be whatever? Would have I have stayed if I'd have known? <laughs> it's like I don't know. Was it a quid pro quo? What makes for a quid pro quo? Was it a whatever? Was it? <laughs> All right, you're done here. Am I? Like, it's just, like, just, it's just gold. It's, it's absolutely very good. gold. It's very good. How that guy could play that character so deadpan for all those years is just it's a yeah. masterful job. Yeah, he's a very good actor. I like yeah. him. All right, should be fine. I'm telling you, you gotta go watch uh, The Last of Us just for the yeah, one episode. Yeah, just for the Offerman of episode, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you gotta watch enough of it to understand to get it. Like, I would Maybe you and Bruce, you and Bruce can be like uh, palos in this whole thing because Bruce has been up my ass for trying to get me to watch the latest Godzilla movie. Because he's like, Brandon, I nearly cried at the end. I'm like, fucking, I don't oh care. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. I'm like, I just, <laughs> I'm over, like, Monster Godzilla. I just don't want to do it. He's like, I, well, I can't believe you don't want to watch a good movie. I don't know, I don't understand. Oh, In fairness, your feet were pointed that way. Shit. Get, oh, you're going to get away with this. Bitch. I mean, you're going to be in the trees, but you're going to get away with it. Wow, how far did you carry that? 228? Fuck, I could hit it. Now, in that. Bruce's defense, <laughs> in Bruce's defense, I will admit to anybody who asks me that I'm a movie snob. I've seen a lot of movies in my life, and uh, so my bar for a good movie is very high. I'll admit that to anybody who asks me. That's fair. That's good. But, like, leave me alone then. I don't have to, I don't have to enjoy every one of your movies. Occasionally, I'm surprised, which is great. <laughs> No! Oh, you scuffy fuck! Do it! God, oh, why do you suck? I would take mine over that all day. Me as well. God, I fuck. 
fucking I got you here, a hoss. fucking golf swing today. Yep, that tree was behind you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, so uh, occasionally I'm surprised. And by the way, when I'm surprised in cinema is the best thing ever, right? Like, Arrival, we were talking about Denny. Arrival surprised me. I went to Arrival thinking it was going to be one kind of movie. I had never read the book by Ted Chang, um, even though I'm, I'm going to own that book because I really want to read it. I'm going to read some other stuff he does, too. He has a new book out now, actually. The only problem is, oh, went left. And almost got out. Almost. Yeah. Fuck. Yep, almost out. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'd like to read the, uh, the problem with Ted Chang, though, although I don't think this is a problem necessarily. Chango. He reads, he writes a lot of short stories. Like, he apparently has a new book out now, but it's like 11 short stories. It's like, ah, I, I find that harder to want to buy and read, right? Because for me, I don't want that many natural jumping off points. Otherwise, I'll never get through it. Like, you give me a way to, like, pull the ejector handle 40 pages in, I'm going to probably do it. Why? Why? What happened to my golf game? What the fuck did I get delivered to the office again? Oh, <laughs> metal strainer. <laughs> so we do French pressing at the office. And in order to be able to properly deal with, we didn't do French pressing when you were there. In order to properly we deal had with, one, but we didn't use them. In order them. to properly deal with French presses, I have a a strainer in the sink at all times, so you can dump the we French press under there. Okay, we had that one. Well, anyways, there. this was the week that the strainer decided. You know what? I've worked for you guys for a lot of years. It's been a lot of years. And I sit in the sink where it's wet, and I think I'm done. I think I'm going to call it a career. So Josh picked it up, and up came the handle, and the rest of the strainer was still in the thing. What? You you just can't keep metal in a wet, humid environment, and it doesn't. I would have thought, right? <laughs> That's funny. That thing was there when I was there. Sorry, Mike. I believe in you. Take more club. Don't be a hero. I am out of this, so I have nothing more to gain or lose yeah. in this round. You would have to literally pooch the entire fucking last two holes in order for me to even get close, so... I'm just trying to not make worse than what I'm sitting at right now. See, club up. Ooh, pin high, a boy. All right, you're up there working, man. Yeah, I gotta deal with this. It's just a matter of when. That's your new air, right? Oh yeah, the dark blue yeah. fingerprint magnet. The fingerprint magnet, yep. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I like it so far, I really do. I, I missed an air. Every time I pick up that old one I had, it's like picking up a tank. Yep. And then, of course, I got that, uh, <laughs> and then, of course, I got that 16-inch uh, monstrosity oh, back this week, and I'm like, beast. holy shit, how do you guys live? <laughs> I went down to the 14 just to try to shed a few pounds, and it's, it's better than the 16, but going from air to the 16, which is what would happen in my house, yeah, I felt like I was going to throw that air over my shoulder every time I picked it up. It's yeah, so I, li light. I like that form factor quite a lot. Yeah, it's nice. I'm glad I didn't get the 16. I'm glad I stuck with the... 13 yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Ah, big pole. Yeah, it's cut. Stay on the green. Stay on the green. Okay, I'm gonna be on the green now. All right, that's good. I pulled a shit out of that. Tis my miss, folks. Tis my miss. Because my miss is on you. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay, well, let's start. Oh, it's right going to come off a little right. Actually, please come a little right. I'm an equal opportunity guy. Oh, <laughs> finally. A decent <laughs> shot. I'll have that for bogey. Oh, I just can't seem to get off the tee, which I knew was going to be my trouble today based on the range. And then the harder I try to do stuff, the uh, worse it works out for me. Who'd have thunk? Yeah, go figure. Yeah, golf isn't a game that, I mean, the pros can, right? But it's like average bloke amateur people is not a game you can press, right? No. You can't just press your swing and play better. Like, that's what differentiates us from pros. Like, pros can press and actually turn it around. Mm-hmm. They have that mental game. <clears throat> Almost. 
shite. It's Brandon. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well. Damn. Okay, let's see. We're making a pot tier for something. God damn. Birdie. Level even. Okay, I like level. Yeah, I got lucky that these guys didn't press me at all because again, since the turn, I'm basically even here. 17, I gotta make this just to try to get one back. Like I basically just stopped scoring once we hit the turn. These guys, kinda like let, these guys kinda let me off the hook, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Then I made birdie. <laughs> then I made a birdie. Go play so some I more, not. bitch. Yeah, I know, right? I'm over here dying. <laughs> Happy that I'm like playing probably 15 strokes better than I did when I played in real life. <laughs> You're complete. You here. can only hold serve. I'm over here dying. <laughs> so good. What's up? Hmm? Hmm? I have a backwards walk-off effect that I've noticed I've been doing every time I uh, play or every time I putt. Give me one of those two. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. We come to 18, to the tune of baby. 14 shots. How are you only uh, plus one in here? <laughs> Mr. I shoot under par every time I play. What was that? Oh, beats me, Skip. Beats me, Skip. I mean, it helps when you play pass at tempo and you can't get under par. I mean, that helps, <laughs> I suppose. Um, but yeah, I mean, what will my handicap do after this? We'll see. I, I'm a one, you're a seven. Nervy's a zero, but Nervy's a zero because he has none yet. Um, so we'll see what happens after this round. We'll have to check it out. Maybe we'll check it out on the stream before we bebop out of here. Oh, didn't close it. Nope. Saved it enough though. Golly, it was falling backwards there. Okay. Good bounce, good land. Yeah, that'll work it's gonna out. It's going to be you, Michael. What's your middle name? You look like a Michael J. That would be it. It is? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that? I don't know if I knew his middle name. I knew that for some reason. Is I don't it, know why. Is it John? Nope. No? It's J. Just, it's J? Like, it's J -Y. J -A -Y? <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> so I'm over here going for the initial. He's like, yep, nailed it. Good first guess. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit. Yes, it is J A Y. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's sky skyrocket. Oh, my God, you crowned it. Folks, he's crowning. Ew. <laughs> And he's crowning on the short tee, too, somehow. Yeah. Doesn't help when I hit, like, down on the ball. Fuck it. <laughs> Did I get it closed? Well, barely. Drove that short dick, Michael. Michael J. Can't hit nothing. I'm gonna catch him. I'm gonna make up. Checks my notes. Seven strokes when the limit is three, so I only need to hole out from here with a <laughs> trip to the Cuervo zone to get. <laughs> Fucking A. Mmm, muscly. God, I fucking closed the shit out of that face. What is this? Semi rough. Hey, semi rough, what, uh, what you gonna do to my ball? Pray tell. I do appreciate a good semi rough uh, outline. First cut. 
Means we getting the pets? Yeah, bud. <laughs> Entered the chat. Tittle has entered the chat on the 18th hole. On the 18th hole. Better late than never, I guess. I can turn it around easily. I get in the cart and go home. That's <laughs> fair. Fair. Very fair. <laughs> hey, that's the one nice thing about being a member, though. Like, I definitely have those rounds at MCC where I'm like, I live close enough now where if I'm out golfing by myself and I get behind a slow group and the golf's bad, I'm like, what are you I either can drink, about? smoke, or go the fuck.